All right. Hello. Um, Our ultimate, like, we need like a no mic bot, bro. <laughs> we have all ultimate of voice. Let him speak. Okay, so, um, we're streaming. I'm gonna be going over everything. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling weird, just like for the last few days, I've been feeling very anxious. So like if you see me, I just need to get like a breather or whatnot. Um, that's why. But this has been something I've been obviously very um emotional about. I'm very angry uh, because this has been handled horribly. Um, a lot of things going about. It should have never gotten to this point in the first place. So, um, not now, Rebel. Not now. <laughs> so we're going to be. This is going to be a very serious stream. Um. I understand a few jokes about things, but please keep this very serious. Um, I'm going to be answering everything. Um, as you guys know, I made a video on Nathan Maddock, right? Um, oh, that was on. Um, now, the reason why I made this was obviously because it was not dealt with by the community itself. Okay, Is Nathan joining the discussion? Um, I'm debating it still. I said I might invite him into it, but... Um, We'll see, because uh, I was, there's a lot we're gonna go over, so we'll we'll go this one at a time. But I uh, I gave him a half invitation. So now um, this whole situation should never gone this far. Um, the fact that it has, I do blame Birdcage wholeheartedly, because this all happened mainly on Birdcage, within the the guys within the community of Birdcage, and it was allowed. So I'm going to be talking both about um, Nathan, those associated with him that did not call things out, and um, obviously Birdcage itself, because this is wrong. A lot of this is wrong. Um, and yeah, so I have a few people with me today in this um, Discord. This is not, this is not, I'm going to say this over and over and over again. This is not going to be a... Quick. Oh, here's a five minute discussion. We're done. We're going to go over everything. 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 That's what I like doing. I'm not going to be going around just playing the game and just like kind of like bullshitting about it. Like, we're going to be in depth, trying our best to discuss as much as possible and bring guys to it because clearly this is wrong. And I, the people that have said things about it already when I did do my previous video, it kind of showed me the true colors and the fact that, um, they don't care about the truth. So, um, with that all the way, um, I will let people in this VC introduce themselves if you'd like. If not, they don't have to. Um, and then we will probably start by just simply going through all the videos, the context between um, just from the videos coming out until now and then presenting to you because um, not only to bring this to light, um, bring forward the truth, but also essentially and toxicity within this community which is birdcage because it has been allowed for far too long so um let's go um anyone that wants to say anything uh, you're more than welcome hello uh i gotta go i got an event coming up so i gotta get ready but uh i'll watch the stream just to support no you're good dude. um you stay blessed okay man all right you too I just wanted to come in and say hi, Blue. I miss you, bro. I miss you too, big man. Hope you're doing well. Dude, we need to play some games at some point. Yeah, I agree. Um, No offense, dude, but right. I'm, I'm just this, yeah, this is just drama we're talking Keep about. Keep your head so. up. Um, okay. But we'll bullshit some later at a later date. So you take care, okay? Man? I love you, bro. Keep your head up, okay? Love you, man. You take care. Always. All right, I guess I'll just introduce him because I'm sure it's just awkward the way I'm speaking. Um, so, I Cicada, Seb, and Ultimate here. Um, I also have 
because, you know, they agreed, my girlfriend here, that's going to speak out against this as well. Like I said, this is going to be uh, pretty serious, uh, but again, just try to, like, give as much as you can towards this conversation. So, um, what we got here? What's the Nathan Maddox thing? So, essentially, for the course of eight months, Nathan has been harassing, defaming me, cyberbullying, um, verbally abusing, um, taking witch hunting consistently throughout this period. Um, and essentially what happened was um, within a week ago, I started action. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to keep having this happen. I'm going to actually do something about this because I find this wrong. I find the way that he's treated versus other members to be wrong. And this has to stop today or else I do believe that the community, Birdcage, and just even beyond Birdcage for what's right, this needs to stop. Because if I don't say anything about it, no one's going to. And it's going to just stay the same cycle over and over and over again. So that's why I spoke out of against it. Um, I had a video. Now, this video was something I worked on for about six days. Um, I'd say seven, including gathering data. But um, yeah, six days. And the video was about 30 minutes long. Um, this video we will be going over, actually. So um, lock in. We're going to be going over this video again. Could be a little boring, but forgive me. Um, and as we do so, um, yeah, yeah. What's good, Blue Digit? Hey, what's up, big man? How are you, bro? Um, uh, yeah. I'm sorry about all that, that, all that stuff, bro. I was, I feel pretty bad for you. I can't lie. Like the toxicity, like. It shouldn't be like it shouldn't be in like the community, bro. I appreciate it. All right, have a good have a good stream. Yeah, you you stay blessed. All right, so, um, the only reason I'm going to be going back and forth is because I want to get to a certain point in the main video, and then we're going to go to a point in another video, which is also from Nathan, and um, with both. By the way, if you're, if you're watching the stream chat, I'm sorry. Just because uh, you, you might have to watch it out through like Twitch for this one video. Everything else, we'll, we'll, we'll watch everything else on YouTube. Like This is the video that Nathan got taken down. All right. So, um, this video, I can only show you like this. Um, I'll discuss why in a minute. Um, I find it kind of funny, but um, again, we'll go over it. So, yeah, buddy. Okay. So, um... This video is what I uploaded after days of work on it. Um, we will be going over also after this what World Main said to begin with, which is some pretty appalling stuff. Um, but yeah, hold on. Let me let me cut my face. Where is? We'll pause that for a second, and then we're gonna go back to the video. All right. So we're gonna be going over this entire video. Um, there's only a few parts I'm not going to include just because um, Nathan and everyone are just all anal about their face being shown, which I find very ironic because uh, based on, uh, what was it? Uh, what was it? YouTube's free use, uh, Creative Commons. You will find that a lot of it is uh, very funny since they've already put it online for the public to see. So uh, I'll be talking about that in a bit. But uh, just... To be respectful, I'm going to get rid of that stuff uh, in this case, and we'll skip over that. But um, other than that, let's uh, watch. Let's watch this together. This video is based around a person who has been harassing, cyberbullying, defaming. My bad. Hold on. Let's full screen. There we go. Gaming and witch hunting me from the start. Nathan Maddock, others associated, and those whom have allowed this behavior to go on for as long as it has. I have tried to ignore this, turn the cheek, and just focus on bigger things for seven months. But after months of this and finally being attacked once again, yet not being able to do anything due to the bias given to them, I've decided I'm going to stand up for myself. Nathan has multiple times accused me of acting like the victim when I try to speak my opinion or claim I don't want to argue. But fine. I won't be a victim this time if that is what you want. I also know you don't have the attention span apparently to watch my videos all the way through because I quote unquote yap. So, I'll help you and keep this video to this time. There will be a timer in the bottom left corner for your amusement. I also will not show my face for most of the video because I know you prefer to send personalized insults over a video game. 
Is this the right one? Hold on, this isn't the right one. Sorry, chat. We're, we're... Hold up. Mm, not the right one. Uh... There it is. Hold on, my bad. My bad. This one wasn't fully finished. Hold on. Okay, now we're good. Now, now we're. This video is based around. There are some screenshots that weren't showing up. Cyberbullying, defaming, but fine. There we go. Much better. Yeah, you're, this you're video see a lot is more based around a person who has been harassing, cyberbullying, defaming, and witch hunting me from the start. Nathan Maddock, others associated, and those whom have allowed this behavior to go on for as long as it has. I have tried to ignore this, turn the cheek, and just focus on bigger things for seven months. But after months of this and finally being attacked once again, yet not being able to do anything due to the bias given to them, I've decided I'm going to stand up for myself. Nathan has multiple times accused me of acting like the victim when I try to speak my opinion or claim I don't want to argue. But fine. I won't be a victim this time if that is what you want. I also know you don't have the attention span apparently to watch my videos all the way through because I quote unquote yap. So, I'll help you and keep this video to this time. There will be a timer in the bottom left corner for your amusement. I also will not show my face for most of the video because I know you prefer to send personalized insults over a video game. So, I'll give you this to look at. I'll even give you a friend. And finally, I've tried to sell this with you personally. You clearly had no remorse for the following actions and, frankly, I don't believe anyone else associated has either. Usually despite this, I wouldn't go forward with a video such as this because I think when I have a somewhat social standing to speak out against someone without one, it can be wrong if done simply to out them. However, you do have one. If anything, currently larger than mine with activity. So I will be speaking out on everything you've done. Ultimate all, Boss 11 said, said Oh, thanks for that. I'll be in the stream chat. Might join back later. Okay. And proudly once more. So, let us begin. There are multiple events I'll be turning back to, not all of them in chronological order. However, I do find this timeline to be the one of most value towards this conversation, and I hope you guys respect that as well. Now, to first discuss this, with the event that caused me to decide to go forward with this video in the first place. From this time, me and Nathan Maddock had not been on speaking terms much, however, we were not hostile towards each other, or so I thought. I was giving my opinions on my thoughts on a current situation in the Birdcage game regarding game mechanics. And in the general Discord server, Nathan Maddock proceeded to call me this with ill intent. Now, let me mind you, after months of having to deal with this, I was offended, especially to be called this publicly. However, I at least expected some other people to denounce the actions and terms. One thing I'd like to point out here was Nathan, you see this in other videos where Nathan said, oh, well, uh, clearly this uh, doesn't, this isn't uh, with context. And the context clearly, as you can tell, if you, want, if you look back is, Gen 4 was disappointed. I will serve my appeal and prove its worthlessness. Now, um, that's just my point in the game. That's my opinion because I, I don't think you need it, right? Um, but I'm talking about the game mechanics, right? Now, what you'll see is in the middle message, you'll see message cannot be loaded. That shows yeah, yeah, yeah. things. Um, do not play that. This is serious. Please stop. Now, the reason why I show this is because join noise. I didn't know stuff like this is important um you will see nathan lie multiple times and show screenshots where this doesn't show up one of the other reasons i showed screenshots was because if you go back into the discord itself and you want to fact check this you can there is a world main for a reason and you can actually like check in the in the little what do you call it magnifying glass if this is all true or not okay so this is something you definitely have to look into um if you want the truth yourself because there's multiple times where he'll just say Oh, there's no context. When clearly, you know, there's the main screenshots here. You can go back and find the context yourselves. So keep that in mind. Don't just trust words. Even just my word, do not just trust it. Look back. Find the evidence. Because facts do not care about your feelings. Keep that in mind. Let's keep going, please. There was none. So I decided. Oh, yeah, and the reason I, uh, again, I said that here, but the reason I showed that too is because, um, you know, all that was said, and everyone's basically laughing about it, wasn't even paying attention to the term itself that was used against me. So clearly there's some bias, and even by guidelines, no one is fucking calling it out, which is wrong. Um, I think it says a lot about the community. Even n none of the mods or anyone did anything about that. The only reason something happens is because I called it out. So I was going to do something about it. First was to speak to him personally. However, I wasn't going to plead for someone to treat me like a human being. So what I said was, so do you have anything to say? 
And from what he said, no. So I decided I was going to stand up for myself. I also gave those associated that laughed at the term a chance to speak for themselves. Certainly, they did not see an issue with the term used. So I spoke to the owner of the game I play, Birdcage, named Zaration. After doing so, because he would be the largest factor in relation to moderation, he said this would be dealt with and he would be treated just like any other player. And so, apparently in the main chat, remember that, treated just like any other player. At Nathan apologized for the term. But, I said a mean word and, hold on, let's go back a little bit. Just factor in relation to moderation. He said this would be dealt with and he would be treated just like any other player. And so, apparently in the main chat, Nathan apologized for the term. I said a mean word and do not contone saying it to anyone. Clearly, this is to save face. So remember this. Like, clearly, he says it here. I do not... I do not condone the word. Whatever. Let's move what? on. Never. Now, here, Potato KK says, should have said regarded, right? Basically saying, you should have, you know, apologized to the individual. And this is what Levi... Or, uh, not Levi. Um, Nathan said. He says, no, bro. Besmirched and basically insulted the devs. I have no regrets. And I spoke to Nathan on this in VC as well. And he said his reasoning for this was essentially, because of this... Because of what you said about the game, it bothered me so much that I had to call you the R word. That I had to call you this term. It bothered me so much. But what you'll find in a lot of his other videos was that, oh, he's joking about things. Or he didn't really mean things. You'll find this a lot where he goes back and forth on what he really means, whether he's joking or not. Or, oh, I'm serious. You know, this is, this is a problem, what Blue's doing. So, definitely remember this. Because... This is wrong. Um, the bias here as to when he does want to make his claims actually, oh, take my word for it, I was joking, versus don't take my word, is not consistent. And again, facts don't care about your feelings. You have to go by the evidence generally. Do I think feelings matter? Yes. But then you have to go off of the consistency of that. And if only feelings matter, that's where you just get a whole fucking game of throwing paper airplanes and seeing what lands. So remember this to me. Whom he addressed it to. Now, th well, this would be a case closed, right? Certainly he would be sorry. No. Within less than 24 hours, Nathan Maddock in the cross branch server of Birdcage uploaded a photo of himself calling another player a M O N G. Now, this is a very derogatory term. I showed this as well to Zar and many other mods to which some completely ignored while. I want to bring this up to you. So, um,. This individual here, as you can see, ignored it. Kind of a problem to me because, like, you know, this is a big term. I showed it to a few others just, again, get an opinion. Um, but then later on, they were very active in the server. Uh, that's not okay. You need to openly just call this out and say it's wrong. It's like, to me, it's like saying the N-word's wrong. If someone's just kind of sitting there like, eh, I don't know, man. Or just kind of dodging bullets. That's a red flag. You call that thing out, you say it's wrong. Others said it was wrong, but what can you do? Now, to my American friends, I will explain the term to you if you haven't heard of it before, based off of Google results, and it being a British common term. Now, here's another thing I want to bring up. So I'm going to go over the definition of this in this video, but um, a lot of times Nathan will say, well, I didn't know, um, uh, you know, you, you Americans see it a different way. Quite literally, just based off of the uh, Oxford Dictionary, which Oxford is a pretty damn good dictionary. There's a reason why it comes up all the time for like the first definitions within Google. Offensive, and then right next to it, what does that say? British. So there's no misunderstanding here. There's none for where this comes from. Or at least what, you know, it's mainly used in. However, I'll, I even go into, like, why, you know, I found out more about the word to make sure that it wasn't just a shortening of something else. Um, Because I did do this research. You can even see right here. Um, you can do it yourself. And that's another big thing. Because clearly, you know, the nice thing about, you know, let's just, let's just play, the, we'll play the video. M-O-N-G is a person who has an intellectual disability, especially one associated with Down syndrome. Um, yo, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really care about this drama, nor do I know much about it or anything, but blocking them could have saved you a lot of trouble, no? So, here's my thing. When you're in a big community like this, you can't just block everyone. Um, even when you do, a lot of times, people will try to go through other means. So, for example, you'll see this further in the video. Nathan, um, essentially, I did ban him at one point off of the November 27th incident. If you guys know, you know, you'll find out soon in a bit. Um, my girlfriend even speak about it. Now, the big problem with this is Nathan has proved that he's willing to go through other means. So, um, I have said I have quit Birdcage. You'll see this again in the video. He would still DM, like, he would 
at me in the world may be like, yo, Blue, I know you're still here. Um, even when I left Birdcage, she would come after me in my YouTube comments. Um, this has been seen by multiple witnesses. Um, another thing that he would do is, uh, this I have screenshot evidence, is I banned him once in my chat, and he said in World Main, yo, I got Blue, I got banned from Blue's chat for some reason. Can someone uh, let me know what's going on and uh, get me in there? And it's like, yeah, sure. Or at least that's what someone else said. Clearly, if, I, if you ban someone from your chat, that should be a clear green flag that, okay, that means I probably shouldn't speak to someone. Like, okay, I get it now, I shouldn't speak to them. He tried going about this in multiple different ways. Um, so that that's my ad advice about that. So, Or not advice, but my, my opinion about it. Um, if you think being blocked by someone means you still like try to reach out, hey, that's you, but that's just... Often used as a term of abuse. Now, he may have been using the term as a joke, perhaps. However, I have two things. One, I have found in the general chat his friend found out and seeked an apology, to which Nathan responded by saying the term is used differently, actually, from where he is, and he will stop. Kingston, I heard, is a minor. He, Nathan Maddock, has still not, to this day, from my knowledge or from anyone else that I have asked, apologized to this individual. There's been misunderstandings all the time I've had. If it's a misunderstanding, guess what? Guess what I still do? I'm sorry. Nothing here. There is nothing. We can go back. If you guys have questions again, we can go back in the world main. I'll look it up with you guys. Well, this is what the stream is for. But you apologize for this shit. This is wrong. But never actually apologizing to the individual to whom he spoke. And Nathan would have been fine if that was the truth. You see, you can find the historical evidence of all words and many even having certain roots. Just because it is used in British culture doesn't mean it came from that place. The term M-O-N-G is actually a shortening of the term M-O-N-G-O-L, which means by definition, once again, old-fashioned term for someone with Down syndrome, which a term actually came from was a mixture of European cultures, but mainly that, from what I found, was German. So Nathan lied to save face. While his only saving grace was if he actually was talking about the people, Mongolians. Which, based on the context of his texts, most likely would not have been the case. And if it was, we probably would have had a whole other problem on our hands. Now let me mind you, during the time Nathan had been seen all over the server, still in game, no punishment in sight, you could be devil's advocate and just claim, well he was joking, and sure. By the way, um, that one mod that I showed earlier, Char, like, beneath that said LOL to that thing, which, again, it's just fucking appalling to me. That shit. Done. Not okay. That's fucking done. Um, people have been... Oh, let's, let's get this going. Let me present you with something. These are the Birdcage guidelines. Here I'll be reading off some, not others, but screenshots will be left up for you to read. Hello, and welcome to Birdcage. This is an AOTPD game with a unique take on progression. Below are a few rules for the server. Remember... Ping any moderator plus if you notice rules being broken or if you need help. And yes, we are strictly safe for work server. Now, there are a variety of different rules. However, I will be only listing off the ones pertaining to this point and my upcoming ones in this video. Um, this part's a little boring. I might skip it a little bit. Because I quite literally, if you guys remember the video, all this is right here is just me literally reading off the guidelines. Um, I will say this, and this is what I'm going to call a birdcage for. If you read the guidelines... Even though I do think they're good for protecting the game, they're not good for protecting the individual. Because a lot of them can be very, um, biased. Which explains a lot of why things are happening in the game. For example, um, make a nuisance of yourself or in, in your interactions. What is that defined by? Literally, I'm, like, dude, if you have a squeaker voice, maybe that's you becoming a nuisance. You could bend the rules so easily. There's also a typo here. 1.6, 1.6, obviously, so, like, not the big point here. Like, my point here, though, is there's a lot of things here that are just kind of questionable for these things. Um, So, like, let's find something else. Okay, trolling or being creepy. Sometimes this can be a joke, sometimes it can't be. Eh, iffy. Um, talk to behavior that can result in a ban. So, this is the number one thing I want to focus on. Anything here could have been used, and it has been used against players that do not have a larger following multiple times. I'm going to bring up a uh, an example of Goblin here, but even after the fact, 
Um, I really want to bring up something where, um, what did you say? Reality, good point. Um, insults are, the, um, are just a way of speech. If you give them power um, to the words, it will slay you. I think words are more, or are probably the most important thing a person can have. So that's why I agree. But it's because we use these words that they have power, right? So for example, if I just, just a word for me saying God, right? I love God. That term by itself has strong meaning because there's meaning attached to it. It's impossible for us to not have them. I get what you're saying. In relation to what you're saying, what I will say is a lot of what these things are, and this is, this is also pertaining to, uh, to the guidelines here. It's all about intention, okay? If my intention in saying something disgusting or just like as a quote-unquote joke is that I really am joking, um, that's fine. But guess what? You still have to move past it. You still have to forgive. You still, or not forgive. You still have to um, apologize. You still have to be genuine with what you're doing, right? Remorseful. My problem here is that from the evidence that I have, from the multiple, the thousands, literally, of screenshots that I took of these incidents, right? Of um, talking to multiple people, secondhand witnesses, from me having to go through clips and different channels and different history of analytics. The intention was to hurt me and everyone around me. That was the intention. That's wrong. Bannable rules. Toxic behavior may result in a ban. This includes... Thank you, uh, thank you, X. I, I appreciate that, brother. Boots, attacking, harassing, provoking, trolling, being creepy, good. offensive, or Amen. threatening other members, inciting arguments, or continuing... And harassment of a... Okay, so right here, a little bit more. The main reason I wanted to bring this up was we follow and enforce Discord guidelines. Um, I didn't add this to the video just because I think that's, I mean, I could have, but it's pretty obvious right here. The number one thing I want to talk about with this is that witch hunting, right? Witch hunting is bad. That is a part of Discord guidelines. Um, I was thinking about actually reporting Nathan multiple times for that. I decided against it, um, but based off Discord guidelines and then the evidence that I have had, yeah. Whatever men, you remember, going? if you, they tell you to stop, stop. Uh, war Here's the biggest thing right here. Warns and their applications. Now, here's a big thing. This is where they get you. This is where they're biased. Because clearly, when it comes to warns, I understand the appeal process. That's cool and whatnot. Um, I've seen it multiple times with these people in power. It's like, oh, here's your warn. Versus other people where it's like, they're out the game. Um, after my video came out the first time, there was multiple people. And you'll see why for a reason why people said, I, I stand blue digit. There's a lot of people that are like, hey, this is wrong. This shouldn't be dealt with this way. This... Um, was sick to hear and without question they were banned now what i heard was they were banned for instigating and instigating a lot of times to me is something with a negative connotation if you want to look it up we can um but generally it's something with a negative connotation you know you know fuck it let's actually look it up what you know let's not because like i said we're gonna go over everything let's let's we're taking our time here we're gonna go over this define instigating All right, so there's two big ones, okay? Um, one, bring about or initiate an action or event. So, um, perhaps. Um, that's it in the first way. The second way, which um, this one is bolted, so that's what people use it more for. Um, incite someone to do something, especially something bad. Um, other words are provoke, spur on, drive on, uh, incite, again. Um, now... I look at it in more that way because like if it's instigating, if I want to instigate a like the first definition, if I want to instigate something in game, I could be banned right there. So obviously it's not that first version. If not, then clearly staff's being hypocrites, right? It's probably the second version because clearly, you know, something bad, right? Especially something bad that that makes sense. Why would you want someone to do something bad? Um, when there are certain things I'm going to again bring up here soon, um, I would hope that's not bad. That's not bad. And... I think people that have stood up for that and have their opinion about that um, should have that. I don't think it's it's wrong to do that. I think it's the same reason as if, let's say, you are in your Discord profile and you put, um, I support LGBT uh, plus, right? And you're banned for that because you're instigating something with that. Who is anyone to say what that was? You're not doing it in a negative light. You're just saying what you stand for. That's wrong. Let's keep going. 
patterns and application. When I'm going to skip past this again. If you want to look at the guidelines, um, you're more than welcome. I can do this so afterwards with this video as well if it really does bother you guys. But you guys can already read this, and I'm sure why is when I've been yapping, you already have. So let's just keep going a little bit, if you don't mind. Okay. Right here. There's the right to take an action or stop a situation where something is breaching safety or is harmful to, to the server, members, or anyone associated with the bird case, uh, bird case community. Warns will be more conditional, but the following will usually result in a warning. Let me mind you, nope. Um, you can never make a perfect palace where no one insults each other, it's just possible. Exactly! Um, that's why it's about intention. So, like, for example, if I mess up, which I have multiple times, if you want to look at edgy things I've said in the past, I mean, I'm sure you can find multiple on my old channel. Um, the more thing is, if I cross a boundary, guess what I say? I'm sorry, right? It's all about boundaries. Um, it's all about trying to be, you know, respectful. Because respect should just be a universal thing. Um, when it goes past that, and you're using leverage for that, and it goes past just words, that is a problem. So we'll keep going. Punishment is in sight with these actions shown, and already I would say without any remorse or looking to fix what was done wrong, the rules already had been broken. Before going forward, I would like to say here are some of my DMs I had with Czar. I told him before I made the video that I was and how I was tired of being treated in such a manner and not feeling protected, so I was going to protect myself and those whom had also been harmed and Czar said he understood. I say this because I never wanted this to be the case, and I'm doing this because I feel like there's no other way currently. I would also like to point out that with this, because of the strike system, <sighs> Zara pointed out apparently, it wasn't severe enough to current. uh, so currently Nathan Maddock is on his second strike, even with- Remember this, this is, this is, again, a screenshot. He said he's already on his second one. Based off those guidelines, I want you guys to determine if, if anything that I've said at this point afterwards, by other screenshots, is- wrong other than the slurs if that would be a ban for a normal player for a normal player keep that in mind if such comments fine then i understand but i am a man of fact and evidence and based on other cases there is one i would like to bring up and his name in the community is goblin for context they've been a part of the birdcage community for a while and from my perspective and i'm sure many others they have been a great and valuable player shining a positive light upon the player base now they were banned, not for three, not for two strikes, but one. And what did they say or do that was so bad? Based upon the tickets I'm going to show you, Goblin said, Yeah, during an in-game interaction while staring at a character in-game, and was banned. Now, in the ticket, they clearly are remorseful and even got the player that they said it to to get involved, and claimed that it was alright and that they were not offended. Still, Goblin was banned until further notice. Now, I bring this up because I find this to be a source of clear, undisputed bias towards a player versus another. Because Nate- Um, there's a lot of text here, but long story short, Goblin did get unbanned, thank god. But it still doesn't change the fact that there's clear bias. I showed a picture earlier of, uh, Nathan having a picture of circumcision. Um, now let me remind you, there's minors in that- In that server. Um, I understand jokes, I get it. Frankly, my opinion was just that, like, if you make a joke like that, just, like, just warn them. Be like, hey, don't do that. Uh- the fact that he got immediately banned for something like minor, and I think saying "gyat" yeah, is hilarious. Like you're not gonna actually mean that sexually. If you do, then that's kind of weird. Um, and yet Nathan, when doing the same thing, was not talked to. It's just, it's, it's it clearly sets a precedent. Um, if that by itself is like not enough proof, like I'm sorry, I don't know what is, man. Nathan has power, a following, connections. They can say whatever they'd like and incite whatever they desire and they will get away with it. While other players make one mistake trying to have fun not attempting to harm anyone in the process and are thrown into the mud, outed from the community. This, I find wrong. But don't worry, we're only getting started. Now, there have been cases of drama in Birdcage. However, one term that leaves a bad taste for many is the term witch hunting. Going off of the informal definition, Witch hunting is a campaign directed against a person or group holding unorthodox or unpopular opinions. Now, there was a woman who had been witch hunted before and harassed until they cried. This was met with extreme action from the Birdcage staff team and quickly dealt with, and from many would be regarded as the largest form of Birdcage witch hunting to date. Remember what they said? If you guys were there, they said some pretty nasty stuff. I don't think it was the caliber of what I'm about to show you. However, I would like to be arrogant and claim something else. I believe I hold the title for being the most witch hunted in Birdcage history. Let me explain. November 27th, 2023. I had a stream where I had an in-lore character named Nero Fritz, to which this stream, they were killed in game. 
Now, this should have been laughed off or simply given an opinion and moved on with, since, of course, it is simply a game. That is not how this went down. With an average of 350 viewers, there was an influx of Birdcage community members throwing insults, harassing my DMs, bombarding my Discord, attacking my mods and members within my chat and server. I was degraded many times, multiple times told to leave the game, told I was subhuman, some of which I will show here from Nathan in which he body shamed me for things of which I cannot control. Bringing outside factors into the game, but the worst part in my eyes were two things. One, Blue, you should go kill yourself. And second, Blue, I'm going to your girlfriend. These two things were the worst of all. And I deal with many things. I can handle quite a bit. The problem was I saw in that chat many birdcage server mods, senior mods, lore team developers, and project leads. And none of them tried to defuse the situation. If anything, they supported the witch hunting going on. I actually quit the game for some time because of this due to fear of having to go through this again and to respect my girlfriend. This is what she had to say about the entire ordeal. So to put it in the most simple of terms, I was given rape threats. And as someone who has been sexually assaulted in the past, this gave me I suppose you could say a predisposition towards hate, towards the Bird's Cage community. I feel as though many people in the community are, for lack of a better word, insensitive. And to avoid sounding contrite, I don't really like any of them anymore. That's all you have to say, bud. Nothing else will make a difference. Now, I do not completely put all the blame. This is a good example right here. So right here, this is a clear one where he says, someone hop in his chat, I'm banned for some reason, I got you. I wonder why. Now, this is a clear example. With using- Sorry for your the things that happened, bro. Thank you. Um, when using what I would say is, um, I don't know how to say this without being mean. I guess common sense, right? If you're banned from somewhere, you would assume they probably don't want you around. They don't want you to be in their nose. They don't want you to, I guess, talk to them, right? Um, I find it very distasteful that after he gets banned, clearly, and is still doing this, th like, this to me is pure instigating. This is him trying to get back in and get in information. I find that wrong. I find that very wrong. Especially when the situation that happened is so, as serious as it is. I can't tell you how... I, I think that is disgusting. But again, if you guys don't think banning someone is a way to say, Hey, um, make it so I can watch this later. I got a shot. You got it, Kai. You got it. Um, you have a good shower. Um, if you don't think banning someone is a form of saying, Don't talk to me. Again, I don't know what it is. I blame my Nathan on this part. I have never formally spoken on this before either. However, clearly Nathan Maddock found this to be amusing and supported the disgusting attack on my community and worst of all, my girlfriend. Worst of all was even after the fact in the Burkage server, himself and others continued to attack me. While others turned- Remember guys, safe work server. Turned a blind eye to the situation. There are many others I won't name because this one's just a bothersome too. Cause like, you know, it was a weird mixture of like some things in game, some things out of game. What happened though was like, you know, again, like this kind of came out of game after I told him just, you know, I banned him, leave me alone. Um, would not. And even when people were saying other things about it, he's like, stop feeding his fucking delusions. Shut up. Now you tell me if this is a joke. You could say maybe like, stop feeding his fucking delusions. Shut up. But I don't see it that way. I don't think that's funny, especially with, again, if you want to look this up in world main, remember, um, you look up this time around. November 27th, 2023, you will find a lot of things, okay? So, please, please, please look at that stuff. Blue, I swear, um, oh. The most likely answer, none of this was dealt with by the bird cage. And then afterwards, someone said, yeah, shut up, bitch. Like, you think that's funny? The community was simple. Because too many were in on it. And simply, too little cared. 
this image was what explains the scenario almost perfectly to me. Uh, I'm a Christian. I believe one should forgive, but not forget. And this is something I will never forget for the rest of my life. I apologize for anyone. So, um, there was that. I have two people as witnesses because Nathan basically said that, um, in his part one video that the evidence I had for that was not enough. You guys can clearly, uh, clear as day, see that, um, people were saying some pretty disgusting things. And you can also see that someone actually did infer that they're going to touch my girlfriend. Um, however, there's also secondhand witnesses, which I think is a big thing because obviously if I'm just speaking about it, that doesn't make sense. Um, I spoke to my girlfriend. She said she's willing to speak about this herself. Um, we'll be going over some of these screenshots to get her opinion on what happened that day because she was actually here seeing all this. That's why people knew and wanted to say things because she was here and people saw her and started saying this crazy shit. And none of this was dealt with. None of this was dealt with, by the way, by basically the, the Birdcage moderation team. A lot of this, and you will see this in, in the chats, were laughing about this. They were laughing about the situation going on. Or they didn't think he was serious. I'm sorry, but when there is... I'm just going to say it. When there's rape claims going around, you take that seriously. I learned, or I tried to watch as much as that other Oxybell girl. She didn't get a rape claim. And yet, she still got an announcement of Zara saying, I'm sorry about this whole situation, but Zara never said anything about this one. That's sick, that's wrong. I'm going to show some more screenshots, actually, about when I even discuss this situation with Zara, because I think there's some things that are very appalling. Very. Now again, based off what I saw, um... I can only prove that Nathan was a part of that witch hunting. Which, let me mind you, he's still trying to get into the stream with that, after I banned him, trying to get more people in, involved with this, I would say that's witch hunting. Especially when it is such strong topics being said. That's involvement in the witch hunting. If it was that Oxybell girl, bam, someone would have been banned for that. Right? Never got a warrant for that, never nothing. Okay? So, um, I'm sorry, give me a second. Um, ultimate is going to be going speaking after my girlfriend about this because obviously he's the moderation person that spoke about levi um this is where i jump a little bit back and forth because my girlfriend doesn't want to see her through a whole hour something stream i'm sure and i just want to get her opinion on it and i'm sure you guys do too um we're going to show this off get her opinion and then we're going to show off the part two of nathan's video because apparently nathan made a misunderstanding part two and in that i'm going to show her that as well Let's enjoy this, guys. Yeah, do you want the headphones? No, that's all. Do you want me to skip around to the screenshots? Okay. All right, so here's one example. Do you remember this individual? Yeah, I actually do because I was on stream that day and I can vividly remember having to uh, ultimate blocking this guy from the stream. Um, I don't remember if this person in particular was one of the people who sent me threats, but I do remember arguing with them on stream. Do you remember this comment at the very bottom? I'm DMs, bombarding my Discord, attacking my mods and members within my chat and oh. server. Okay, this one right here. Yes. Do you remember what that comment was in relation to? I'm pretty sure that was about Ultimate telling him to s stop sending sexual claims. Okay. Can you explain anything else you remember from that day? Or how about you just guide us through? Like, I'm sure you remember me on stream. Can you guide us through when you came in and like, this was the Neuroference incident. So, it was a character that you had created where you were intending to, I guess, enhance lore in the game. Um, I was sitting next to you. I remember I was playing uh, Darkest Dungeon. And once shit got crazy, 
it was, there was up to, I think it was 500 people, 500-ish people on the stream. And the majority of comments were hate comments. A lot of them were very unbecoming things like, oh, I'm edging to this, or keep going, uh, something about, well, sex, which I believe just isn't something that was appropriate for the situation. And overall, was very gross, especially considering that I know there are minors in the birdcage community, plenty of them, and that is something any minor shouldn't have to listen to is, oh, I'm edging to this, especially the minors on stream with us, so. Um, can you discuss what happened after the stream and... Do you remember anything that happened on the stream? I remember being upset. I remember feeling a little bit nervous, as if we were going to have a stream raid, um, like we did that time on the server, and people were going to get our information. Um, because that, from what I understand of the birdcage community, that is a pretty typical response, which is immature and, I don't know. But I don't remember much of the discourse that went on. I'm going to keep going a little bit. There's one more thing I want to show you. I was degraded many times. Multiple times told to leave the game. Told I was subhuman. Some of... Do you remember this individual? Yes. What do you remember about them? I remember specifically this was someone who we had to block from the stream. That Ultimate was the one who blocked, I believe. Because it, a lot of what he said was entirely unrelated to what was going on with what you were doing with Lore. It was just about not wanting you to have... I'm trying to articulate myself properly. I feel like it was a lot about not wanting you to have attention. <laughs> Which I know sounds stupid, but... As if, like, the Nero Fritz character itself was somehow offensive to the game and offensive to this individual because it was trying to enhance lore. So. Do you remember if he was inciting witch hunting? Yes. What do you remember about that? I do remember several people hopping onto the stream after him. A lot of people who weren't there before and instantaneously deciding to well, leave hate and threaten you and threaten me for things that ultimately did not matter. Do you remember at the time Birdcage staff doing anything about this? No. Can you tell me what you remember Birdcage staff doing? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Um, I'm going to move forward a little bit. Now, this is a part two to Nathan's video. I know you're sleeping next to me, so like you've already seen part of this, but I do think having you with the headphones on to see this is going to be good. Um, so the reason... All right. All right, so this is going to be, um, we'll rewatch this a few, few times, but I want to show Tasia this because clearly um, Nathan says a few things. So. You ready? 
So the reason why I'm making this video is to state that me and Blue Digit are on good terms. We're uh, on the good track to become friends, I hope. Um, but some drama happened after the initial video. I ended up copyright striking Blue Digit the video. And the reason for this was because my good friend Levi's face was used for his permission. Now, the reason why this was such a big deal is because Levi was accused of some very serious stuff of red evidence. Um, and it's not something you would want your face to be known for. Not only this, but Levi's family member also ended up seeing the video. Not only that, but I was within my right of uh, copyright law to take down the video because my face was used for my permission and also my profile picture was used as the thumbnail as well as um, other materials. After the copyright strike stuff happened, um, Blue Digit DM me trying to sue me for uh, taking down his video. Um, this all got cleared up pretty fast. Me and Levi ended up talking to him about it, and I actually ended up talking to Blue Digit for 30 minutes on call. Um, I apologized for things that were I needed to apologize for um, with uh, genuine sincerity. And I also gave context to some of the screenshots that he used in his video. Me and Blue Digit actually came to the decision to take down both our videos, but I got told by staff that in order to get unbanned, I needed to spread my side of the story. Again, the reason the video is currently up is not to spread hate or malice. Um, any slander towards Blue Digit or his community, I will personally purge if it is in my Discord or comments. The reason the video was put public again was again to get unbanned and spread my uh, version of events. Again, any hit towards Blue Digit will not be alerted in any comments or Discord servers of mine. Me and Blue Digit, again, I'll say we ended up working some stuff out um, in that 30 minute call we had. And I like to say that the drama, the drama that should never have happened um, should be getting cleared up soon. Thank you guys for watching. The point of this video was to give reasoning for uh, why the previous video was up and to explain some things that happened after the initial release. And hopefully we can put all of this drama behind us. All right, so let's talk about that. Now, I think there's one specific part I want you to react to. And that one part was, apparently, there was no evidence for the um, the November 27th incident with Levi. He said that, quote-unquote, Levi didn't mean it. Now, I said this before. I say this still. I'm sure you guys have no idea what used to work in law enforcement. Um, I am a man of that facts don't care about your feelings. Facts are cool. But facts don't care about your feelings. So, Valor, that's not okay, dude. Not okay. Not okay. Okay. Um. So, with what I'm about to say here, since we're talking about feelings, how did you feel about that? Do you think that Levi truly meant what he was saying? Not at all. I did not get a bare hint of sincerity about any of what he said in that video. There was no tone. There was no indication of seriousness. It just seemed like he was making it because he felt like he had to make it and didn't want to have to talk about it anymore, which is immature and something, I guess, that I should have expected, but I was hoping for a little more, I guess. I guess I shouldn't have for a two minute, 20 second video, but. Now, based off of what you saw, did you see any evidence provided? What are your thoughts watching that video and from the date itself? I feel like he just said it because his friend was thrown into the loop. Even though his friend was one of the people who was laughing about this, and he wanted, I don't know, to save face. What do you think, in your opinion, should be the proper action taken against um, Levi and Nathan? I believe they should both be banned from Birdcage. Do you think it should be temporary or indefinite? 
that's difficult, just for the fact that I think anyone can redeem themselves, regardless of their mistakes, but up to this point, based upon what I've been seen, uh, what I've been shown, probably indefinite up to a point. Um, I mean, I'll just be sitting here for like three more minutes. But I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Yo, Blue, I gotta go to sleep. I'm man. back. Um, I'm speaking. Chicken. Free, hashtag free Nathan Medic, hashtag free the dogs, hashtag type sheep. Really funny after we're just talking about one of the most serious things right now. Chicken, fix your shit. This isn't funny. If you want to laugh about that later, fine. But fix your shit. Okay? Not funny. Not your fault. Chicken, we're talking about rape right now, and you're fucking laughing about shit, and get the- Fucking fix your shit. This isn't funny. You think it's funny after having to fucking- With me sitting here dealing with- For fucking months of harassment, and then hearing this shit from my fucking girlfriend about rape claims, and nobody from fucking Burger King's doing shit about it? This isn't funny. This isn't fucking funny anymore. I want to hear you and everyone else start, start saying in world main, as I've seen you guys before, say you laugh at this shit. This isn't funny. Chicken bro, you can't be saying such ridiculous things like that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to calm down, but like I'm, I, I should, the fact I had to fucking ask her to come into this stream a second time, a second time to talk about this. Because people are laughing about the video is sickening and it's pathetic. And the fact that's what you guys have fucking had to deal with. Fucked up. Fucked up. Use well, Zeke. Fix your shit. Anyways. Um. Not funny. I think, I think right here, we can actually start seeing true colors, okay? We can start seeing very true colors. It isn't funny at all. Oh, I agree. So how about you stop? They can't silence me. No, I'm just deciding not to. The fact that's what you have to say, after all that, that you, we can't Chicken, silence you? I can't you? lie. Please really? think about your actions and the consequences of it before sending it again And WSP Mr. The Boogeyman. This is sad. And this is what I'm talking about. Because it's like... And this is what I'm talking about. One of the main things you'll see with, with people in this inner circle, just to prove a point, just to prove a point, it's not hard to say rape claims are bad. Just saying, go, I'm going to fucking do X, Y, Z to you. That's fucking wrong. That's wrong. Just fucking say it's wrong. Don't be fucking pulling this bullshit just to fucking save your narrative. No offense, but... Facts don't give a fuck about your feelings. And all I'm hearing from you is bullshit. So fix your shit. Fucked up. Fucked up, chicken. Ben. Okay. We're moving forward. And let me mind you, again, no apology for fucking Birdcage staff. Um... Even afterwards, people were fucking saying shit towards me, making jokes. People, the only reason I got some of the screenshots is because they posted in World Main, and it was never deleted by fucking anyone. And let me mind you, I was in, uh, in DMs with uh, Zar the other day. He said that he dealt with it. Well, clearly it hasn't been fucking dealt with. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Calm down, don't get mad. You're right, thank you. Thank you, I, I'm... Thank you. Um... 
Crazy Ya- uh, Crazy Ami? Free Nathan Maddock? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm really glad that's what your first response is to this, uh, to this whole ordeal. Very, very proud of you. Okay, let's keep going. Sorry, I feel like shit after that. That- That should never have- Okay, let's keep going. Um, we're going to be pulling up the video again, and we're going to keep going. Um, again, I will ask you, okay? So, already, just from this incident, inciting witch hunting, and continue to harass after being banned from chat, right? Would you consider that for another, if that was another player, would he be banned for that? Would that be at least a warning? At least a warning. Ask yourself that, okay? Let's keep going. So. Okay. And, and let me... I'll say this, the only reason we're doing this right now is because Nathan Maddock put back up his two videos when I wanted to be done with this shit. And continuing to say there's no evidence. Here's some fucking evidence. Seek stop saying such things to him making him feel uneasy. You are better than that swift rage. Okay. Um, shit, shit. Let's go forward. Pass her thing. Okay, we're going to turn off notifications. I apologize. Um, just, I don't think the notification thing should be the main priority <laughs> for obvious reasons. So. All right. Okay, we're good. I apologize. I'm, I'm really trying my hardest not to get angry about this, but this is just not okay. So. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to plead with you guys. This needs to change. This needs to, this needs to fucking change. Because... Our community, Birdcage is not going to get better unless, frankly, people like Levi stay out of the, or uh, not Levi, Nathan stay out of the community. That's the only way. Because this isn't a fucking game. If, if I see people coming here, I've already learned enough about this, by the way, where people start laughing about this before even learning the facts of a fucking video just to feed their narrative. I really want to see people fucking laughing about this now. I'm really fucking serious. Start laughing now. Will you be taking legal action? Um, I thought about it. Um, I was debating actually taking civil and criminal, but um, we'll get into that in a bit. There's there's a later section in that video where we will. So, um, yeah, let's keep going. I apologize for anyone who was bothered by that section. With that out of the way, though, we move on to a point which I actually almost forgot because it happened twice, which was being raided by individuals from the Burkage server onto my personal servers. The reason I bring this up is because I'm sure others may want to claim Nathan only happened upon the November 27th stream by chance, so I'd like to show another case of which he was involved witch hunting me. Now, I don't mind people Why coming in one to be part of the community. Why face in the video like he did anything to you? So, um, G Cool and Levi are both in this video. Uh, believe it or not, um, so... I don't have it all right now, obviously, because we're just watching the video, but, um, I guess I'll just take my word for it or not. Up to y'all. I don't really care. Um... G Cool and Levi were both a part of this. There's a few other people. I actually had to get rid of about 800 to 1,000 screenshots because the video was going to be about an hour and 20 minutes long. I decided against it because I wanted to focus on Nathan Maddock and I actually did want this video to be watched all the way through by people because the video is about 30 minutes long. That's why this took me about seven days to get done because I was I was almost done. I was like, you know what? This isn't, I don't feel like it's right for me to go after all these people. I'm going to go after the one that I do think was inciting all this. Um, but the main reason I chose G Cool is because if you're a, f this is my main reason. Um, and frankly, I mean, out of taking anyone's face out, it probably could have been G Cool. But here's my my big thing. If someone, for example, says, um, if someone, for example, says the N word towards you, right? Is that right or wrong? Right? Is that right or wrong? Do you work in free? I used to work in uh, law enforcement. So is that right or wrong? Probably wrong, right? G Cool is the type of person, from what I've seen from my screenshots, is he will laugh along with it because he wants to be in the in group. He won't actually call, he won't actually stand up against the group and be like, oh, that's wrong. You know, don't fucking do that. What the fuck? Don't do that shit. He will, he'll be in the in group because obviously he wants to be surrounded by that. And sure, you can say, well, you know, that's what a lot of us do. We're just in the group. And to that, I say, that is wrong. I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't give a shit about safety anymore. If there is something that is wrong, you call it out. You call it out. Would you stand against the group when you have so much to lose? That's what I've been doing! That's what I 
am doing reality. I can lose everything here. And that's why I'm doing this, because it's the right fucking thing. Yes. Yes, I would. I have. I have multiple times against shit. If anyone in this birdcage community, right, honestly, the community even debates whether or not I would stand alone doing shit. I'm sorry, you don't know me, because that's what I've done almost this entire time. I've stood alone. I've done everything to try my best to speak for what is wrong and right in this fucking community, because that's what you should do. If someone's fucking harassing someone, done. Fucking warm, tell them to back off. Stop it. Someone's witch hunting, stop it. You don't fucking condone that shit. Fucking saying an N-word to someone, I don't give a shit. You stop that shit, because it's the right fucking thing to do. And I don't give a shit if I have to fucking deal with 50 or 100 fucking people. That's what you do, because it's the right goddamn thing to do. I'm sorry. <sighs> We're good. We're good. Let's keep going. But having individuals that come to my VCs in bulk just to scream the N-word with the hard R while I stream to get me in trouble or slander my reputation is just not acceptable. Now, Nathan was a part of the first raid of my now older Discord server. I honestly don't remember all too much about this situation just because I remember when people were yelling in unison at once and trying my best to deal with the chaos. But I have someone who here does remember it all. And that individual talk I personally Blue, will keep anonymous out. so that... Okay, um, where's my, can I just, where's my, is, run this one, hold on, alert box, yeah, we're going to turn that off, I apologize for that still going on, if someone does try to attack them, I will know immediately, this is their testimony. When you raided your discord server, uh, treated you like a dick, uh, kinda just like attacked you, or you voicing your opinion, like, you didn't, like, it's kinda like unprovoked, honestly, in my opinion, like, what, what, what did you do to him, literally nothing, like, all, all you've done is be like, okay, this stuff in the game, like, this, I don't feel like this is, you know, good for the game, and then he just started, like, berating you, uh, you were just, like, talking in walls one, then he joined with, like, his gang, and then, they started like screaming and like just like being like a nuisance. So like we all moved to like you know like the servers VC or well, the old servers VC, and then they started joining in, and then yeah, just yeah. So they, they just kept like following you. When they were following, do you think it was purely out of um, witch hunting? I mean, well, let me search what that means. Uh yeah. Like, and they were like, they were finding all your like old like videos and stuff, bro. When he was posting your vid like your clickbait videos and the old man. Can you like refresh everyone on that or like what you thought was going on with that? He was just trying to get again initiating which uh which hunting. But like anything that looked bad. Look at this, please, and tell me if you think that's a joke. Based off of everything you've seen already, is that a joke? Do you think, or do you think that's toxic behavior? Thank you. For you and like ruin your rep because at the time you were like pretty controversial in like the group and he was just trying to like ruin your rep even more with the youtube yeah do you remember uh ax did you ever consider just hitting the block button um i spoke about this a little bit before but long story short um i said it before but i'm christian i don't like completely blocking people because i want to know what's being said about me and frankly i also i did want to work things out um, and we go about this a bit later in the video as well. Um, it's hard because, again, like, there's just so many different back and forths. And, again, you'll hear a lot of this already. But I assume the first time when I blocked him from my stream or I banned him on November 27th, that would have been enough of a sign. And yet he still he was still trying to get in contact with me and still trying to talk to me. That's If that's not enough sign, I don't know what is. If you guys think that banning someone and still trying to talk to you is something, that's, that's a problem. Um, and then also... Uh, so, again, you'll see this later in the video, but there's one time, one, where Nathan was nice to me, and that was where I was having a panic attack. Um, and, it, granted, it was on stream, so you can debate if it was genuine or not, but, you know, I still give it to him. He talked to me, and, you know, he's like, you know what, um, let's let bygones be bygones, and I'm like, sure. Um, so, at that point, I forgave him, and I wanted to, because, again, I take this seriously. I'm a man of God. When people fuck up and they really want to fix themselves, you let them fix themselves. That's the way people should. I mean, fuck this. 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 I mean, this shouldn't even be what a Christian is. But just in my mind, you need 
to try your best to find the best in people. And the number one thing with this is, are they sincere? Are they sincere? Yeah, what's up, guys? So, no offense, but not right, not right now, Nathan. We can talk later. What do, you, what do you mean? What's up? Not right now. Please, we can talk later. I'll have you over if you want to talk after I'm done with all my points, but not right now. <laughs> all right. Um, what do you, one more thing before I go. Is that fine? Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but hold on. Like my entire mind just completely blanked. Um, what's going on though? What's with the what's with the whole shit that's happening? What's going Nathan, on with the stream? We can talk about after I'm done with my points. <laughs> we can talk about. I afterwards. mean, the points are bringing me though, no? Yeah, they are. But I'm going to talk yeah, about we this can first talk and about then it together. No teamwork. When you're done, you, you, can, you can watch the stream. After, last after, night. Nathan, after 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 Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, bro? Do we I mean, talk about, like, I'm telling you right now, I'm setting a line. Night? This isn't... You know, like... Nathan, Nathan, please. please. <laughs> like, I can post the entire conversation we had last night. I recorded it. I don't mind. Oh, you recorded it? Did we not, talk, okay. about, did we not so, talk about compromise? For example, after I said, you know, we can work through this, these things and how we're going to both take our videos down. So yeah. so you lied? So clearly you're... No, I told you last night. I have the screenshots of our DMs from this morning. I Nathan, told you. I got told you by made... staff in order to get on band, I needed to give my opinion... Do you really and want to keep talking uh, over me? Is that it? You're going to just me. keep fucking trying to push over me like you always have? Get out. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? I'm, I'm talking about, I'm making a point right now. I'm not going to have you fucking just try to bully me about it. I'm, I'm going to speak my I'm mind. I'm talking calm. We You're can talk about later. screaming at me, bro. This isn't the time. I'm telling you. Get out. <laughs> okay, bro. Peace. <laughs> this isn't funny. This isn't funny. My voice matters. Bro, just ban the fucking guy. Well, he's not, like, like, you see that? Like, he's coming in already just like, oh, let's talk about it here. It's like, Blue. we're not talking man about it. Man does not give a shit. Just kick him out and be over with. Holy shit, man. Uh, yeah, you're... Why is he laughing? I don't know. Well, I mean, this isn't funny, funny to me. Funny. This isn't funny to me. This this shouldn't be funny to anyone. Like, is this... Is Please tell me this isn't funny. This isn't funny. This isn't funny. I really, I, I'm serious. Fucking start laughing about this, guys. If you really think that is genuine, if that's someone that's sorry, come on. And you know, I'll go over it. Sure, you know, let's talk about it for a bit. He just came in saying, oh, well, I record the whole thing. I spoke to Levi. Maybe Levi didn't record the whole thing, but I spoke to Levi and I was like, you know what, let's have just a one-on-one, -on -one, me and you. And we did. And you know what, even though Levi said some... Even though Levi said some fuck shit, I do believe he was genuine. I don't know if he was recording, but I don't think he was. Me and him had a great conversation. That's why I fucking forgave him. Because you know what? Even after everything, dude, he was trying to be a fucking better person. Fucking leave uh, Nathan here. I'm like, let's have a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, fucking records everything. That's not a fucking one-on-one -on -one being genuine. And what I said too, he could show it. I don't care. It's not like he showed his other stream I talked about in a bit here. Is I just want to be done with this to move on. I told him, I don't want you part of the community. We did have a good discussion, but I told him, I don't forgive you yet. I don't want you part of the community. And I want both these videos taken down so that we can move past this and maybe I can get Levi back in. That's what I said. Speak your shit. But this isn't funny anymore. If this is what birdcage is, if this is what you think just treating a human being is like, I'm sorry, then you guys can do you, but this isn't me. I'm fighting against this. I'm speaking out against this. I'm not going to keep dealing with this shit because this isn't how people should be treating each other. This isn't the way that you should be doing things. I'm moving above this shit. And I tried to move on the first time when he said, let's put this shit behind us. But when you start attacking me again, when you think this shit is a joke, well, guess what? It's not. No, it blue digit. No, I admire you for speaking your mind because it takes a lot of courage and, you know, willpower to truly, you know, fight against the oppression and fight against the, you know, the bias. That's you right. Know? That's right. Because, you know, <clears throat> down here in Nashville, you don't deal with that stupid shit. You, hmm. don't, you don't do that at all. I, I want to say this first, just because I brought it up as well. Uh huh. I forgive Levi. Yeah. Okay. I told Tasia about it. Yeah. She said, it's up, you know, you just decide what you want to, babe. And I said, because, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying my best to fucking do what's I'm trying I'm fucking trying I'm, I'm sorry I'm fucking angry but like like you tell me if it's not normal to get angry about some of the shit that you've heard I want I I want Levi 
to move on from this, and I want him back in the community because I think Levi is a good guy. But yeah. I, I say this, I don't think Nathan is. From what I've seen, mm. he's insincere. I think he's manipulative. And really? I think that everything that he's done so far has just proved the points that I have. No, that doesn't I have a question. Me. I have a question. If I got banned too, yes. Yeah, what's up? Um, would you be okay with like a maybe maybe later on we're more like in a good mindset because you're obviously like aggravated right now to sit down and have a good talk talk through with Nathan and all of them or maybe it's Nathan mm. because I feel like I feel like that was like I feel like I feel like you're you're a good reasonable man I feel like if you two had to sit down talk through we podcast type of thing no no no, no, no we would so, not take that uh, serious no 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 now this is my point right this, said, now this is why I say that no. already oh. happened. This is why I say no. Valor made this. I'm I'm looking. (laughs) Not okay. Get him out of here. Valor, get out. Wait, what'd I do? Wait, what'd I do? Is that just is that just a noise from you joining or did you just play that? Yeah, that's no, that's my joining sound. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I thought you played that just I I feel as if some more feelings. We need to be more sincere. Don't you agree? We I feel as if because like I said, what, what do you mind where I ask like what state are you from? Wisconsin. But come on, dude. Yeah. In Wisconsin, we don't deal with none of this bullshit. Because me, I'm from Nashville. Down here in Nashville, we don't deal oh, with Nashville. none of this shit. Real. We don't do this. When we have an issue with somebody, we address it. Address it. Or that. Gr- we are grown men. Grown men. Yeah. Grown I mean, ass men. Said, things are said about me and my significant other. This shall not be let. We can't Mission? let this shit slide at all. Let this shit mm-hmm. slide at all. So I just want to let you know that like your POV completely like, dude, you're in the right. You're in the right. But I personally blame the the Lord team, the incompetent Lord team mm. and staff team for not being able to enforce these rules earlier. And I completely apologize on my behalf because as a player, I witnessed it. I witnessed it, and I apologize for not siding with you earlier. You understand? That is true. Guys. I stand blue digit. I stand blue digit. We go to private VC. There's too many of them, man. What? Let's just a blue Mars. stand Mars. on digit business. business. Um, I nice. if we can be quiet for a minute. Not it. Yeah. Not it. No. One more thing. One more thing before we leave, real quick. Can we stop playing some of that? I feel like we should. I feel that. Listen. Listen. listen, One more thing. One more thing. Just. We just got done talking about rain. You guys are playing this shit. One more thing. One tiny thing. One tiny thing. Yo, Valor, chill. Valor, chill. Valor, chill. Valor, chill. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. I feel like we should get some witnesses. I haven't killed in Bird Cage. I feel like that's what we should do. That's it. What? Can we can we get some can we get some people I haven't killed in breakage? That might be better. Uh, seems a bit biased, no? If no. this doesn't work, this doesn't work. You'll just jump in and find a way. It seems to be people I don't know what does. Oh. We're moving no, on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me say something. Let me say something. This is the final nail in the coffin. If this doesn't prove it, I don't know what does. This is a fucking joke. You should be dead, bro. I killed you. No way, yo, yo, yo. My hands are up. I didn't do it. Yo, I spent a hundred bits on your stream. Why am I muted, bro? What's going on? Suck it up, nigga. Shut up. You going? Damn. So you know, Blue is you're right. This is this is injustice. I don't feel this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. <laughs> the play the game of blitz. Not hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I don't play the game no more. If you guys seriously think that is okay, like we literally just got done talking about rape claims. We literally just got done talking about rape claims, and that's what they jump into. That needs to be dealt with. And you tell me, you tell me if that was someone that was sincere about what went on. That's not, okay, that's not funny. And that's what they want to unban. That's what they want to unban. So, okay, let's, um, let's keep going because that, that right there was sick. That was pretty fucking sick. All right.
Valor, thanks for showing everyone how much you think this is a joke. Again, what is it? Just a few minutes ago, we were talking about literally in this video, rape, and you're sending that shit in a VC. I'm really glad this is a thing. I'm really fucking glad. Let's keep going. For anything about what he did with that, or no? Uh, I'm pretty sure he was like posting comments, but like, it, it was just like he he was riling up World Main with the trying to get everyone that like I could be against. He was like posting like comments. The next point I have here is actually about. I think Valor meant no harm. That one, there's nothing. There's nothing to say because I literally told him, stop, we're making a serious conversation. And then afterwards, he kept going. He has nothing. Also, here's what I said. Um, here's another one of me saying, okay, I don't want to talk right now. And him still saying, hop in VC. Like, I don't want to talk. When I say I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk. This I don't want to talk. Of 2023. I'm not sure if you know this, Levi. Not Levi, my bad. I apologize. Nathan, but I'm going to say this. No, sometimes actually means no. Okay? No means no. On and off. Now, within the time period, I was keeping to myself and speaking strictly to my own community. Playing other Roblox games, mainly poor-related. And let me mind you, for as long as things have gone on, what you just saw there is exactly actually how they attacked me before. That's that's how they got away with all this, because they would just over, they bombard me. They would literally witch hunt me and fucking bombard my VCs, fucking invalidate me by doing shit like that. That's exactly what they would do. And then afterwards, they, they'd fucking make, let's say, like, a clip of, like, right here with my girlfriend and be like, you know, here's a screen fucking shot. Oh, oh, here's fucking t girl, uh, Blue's girlfriend. Like, sick During shit. this time, Nathan Maddox sent me multiple comments degrading me, insulting my videos, my intelligence. Valor, you know what you did. Fix your shit. Even speaking out on videos not birdcage related simply to try and dig the knife deeper to hurt me. Now, I am a man of evidence. And with this, I have none. With this, I have secondhand witnesses. And now, finally, after that second part two I showed you with Nathan Maddock, the reason why I find this very funny is because Nathan said, well, it wasn't Levi's intention. Where's your proof? I use screenshots all the time to prove my cases, okay? That's why I went through all this shit. Now, if you want to talk about feelings, that's fine. But then I can, then that means if your feelings are valid, my feelings are just as valid, okay? So either this means nothing and what you've said in your videos without showing evidence means nothing or all this means something you can't have it both ways and i've said this multiple times i'll keep saying it facts do not care about your feelings let's go i only have secondhand witnesses one of which you just heard before however i looked throughout all of my analytics and there was nothing so why did i keep this point in because nathan has a history of deleting comments here on my Twitch, you can see some terms do not come up. However, this evidence posted by Nathan himself does. Now, one could say that Nathan actually photoshopped it, but based off the opinions of my friends of mine who do use photo, um, the people I talked to actually were people I used to uh, go to college with. Um, they're the ones I actually did like more theater production with. So, um, those are the people I talked to with this. Um, I showed a few other people from Discord, but I didn't think that'd be valid enough. So that's why I went towards these individuals. Altering software and common sense, there would be no motive to do so. Second is the profile. Nathan Maddox had a different profile picture at the time and a certain analytic identifiers I found from his main channel were not on what I recall from before with the search results I had been going through. This leads me to have a suspicion that Nathan had used an alternate account to leave comments to attack me and at a later date perhaps deleted them. However, these two things are simply suspicion. But if my word means anything. I so with this, the one thing I had was secondhand witnesses, which you had none for when you make feeling claims. So, secondhand witnesses for mine. And two, um, which also can verify and validate the dates that they were there, right? Which is also a big thing. And two, I also did have evidence, at least there, of you deleting screenshots. Or not screen, um, comments about things. So, like, if there's evidence of you deleting things, so, I do remember. Let's keep going. Many times after being away from the community, Nathan following me, and refusing to happen to call with Maddox and hash this out. We actually did this before, but clearly he didn't mean anything. But, um, you know, what? here's what we'll do I'll be right back. I'm going to um, take a small restroom break and get a water. I suggest you guys do the same. Get your stuff. Um, Leave me alone. Prepare yourselves. Um, yeah, just get, get yourselves all enjoyed. 
Um, I'm going to, um, we'll say it's like a five minute break, okay? So, get yourselves on. People that actually do want to watch this can stay. And if not, then, yeah. So, um, we keep going. So, take care. Do a blue check uh, the place it's around. It's not there. All right, gentlemen, I'm back. Hello. Um, welcome. Oh, we still have a good amount of people here. Hi. So, um, yeah, hello, guys. Oh. General chat. General chat. Yeah. So. Um. Someone just someone just did the, the R word. Thing are you serious? That. Yeah. Fine. Let him. Yeah. yeah Let him. Stay. You know, th this is this is literally all I need to prove. This is if this is not enough proof for you guys, then frankly, I don't know what. Like, I'm speaking to people that actually want change. I'm speaking to people that actually think there needs to be something to be done. If you think this is fine, fucking just, oh, it's funny to just leave the R word. It's funny to fucking witch hunt people. It's funny, you know, um, because I side with someone to laugh about rape claims. I'm, that is wrong, objectively. And if you side with that, I don't know what to fucking think. Because that's just wrong. It's just objectively wrong to me. This is not okay. Not okay. And there's only two ways to go about this. Either, essentially, you know, the people that really do care are just going to be smushed out, right? And the community is going to stay in this nasty hell pit that it's in. Or two, right? Where we do deal with this. We stand up to this fucking behavior. Because the thing is, I know it's not just me that's been being treated like this. This happened multiple times. Whether it's Nathan or not, this shit has happened multiple times in the Birdcage community and hasn't always been dealt with. I want to change that. I'm tired of the bias. I want to change that. I want this fucking community to be better. And the only way it's going to happen is if we actually do something about it. If this happens, I guess frankly, if Nathan is let back into the game, it's done. It's done. This show's literally more than enough. So, let's keep going. With this point given, it lays groundwork for why I will be able to give the other, which is Nathan defaming me and being manipulative towards me within his dreams. Now, overall, this is nothing. Okay, so this point I'm going to make, I find it very entertaining. 
I spoke about this. It's been enough time. Okay. Let's go to videos. Nathan has still not uploaded that video to let everyone see. So, um, I find that very interesting. Um, he also hasn't showed off his, uh, his VODs to prove that, you know, it doesn't exist. So, um, I find that very entertaining. Very funny. Alright. Let's, um, let's keep going. Something big. However, it is something to note. Now, to give some context. After I made a video speaking out against the, the lack of leadership within HICOM and BurkeJF's as a whole, many others have given their opinions, and many have respectfully disagreed with me, which I absolutely understand. After all, everyone is and should be entitled to their own opinion. However, and that's another reason why people are like, oh, you should have, like, just, um, blocked Nathan. Like, I just, I, you gotta realize, I'm not the type of guy that just wants to be like, oh, fuck this guy, I'm gonna block him, or like, you know, I'm gonna just throw some slurs at this guy, or like, I'm gonna just insult this guy. Like, that's not the way I roll. I want... I want to find in every which way the best reality that remains. I want my I want to truly find the best way that things can be dealt with. And with this, it's like I, I thought once I could have worked with Nathan. And now I know one I a hundred percent know that I can't. So my glorious king Nathan Maddock. Okay. One day after stream, I decide to end my stream by rating Nathan Maddock. Sure, we may not be the best of friends, but my thought process was that he is a part of the same community I am, and therefore I should support him the best I can. Uh, that's also proven in that stream. So, And I also have some eyewitnesses that were watching the stream to prove that I at least did that. So, As I would with any other Birdcage content creator. <gasps> Once I joined the stream after rating him, he almost in a Disney-esque manner said, Hello Blue, I'm glad to see you here. How's your stream? Uh, really hope you're doing well. Almost giving a laugh in between, as if he was genuinely happy to see me. So I answer, I was doing well, and as I did read the chat, many of the comments saying the same thing, one of which being, Damn, Nathan! Switched up real quick! So, I replied to the message saying, Oh, well, what did he say? You know, lol. And Nathan almost switching up like his behavior, like Two-Face from Batman said, with his voice lowering, Yeah, I think you're fucking stupid, and laughing about it with his audience as he proceeded to talk about me as a person to his audience defaming me and the chat speaking out about how nathan did so beforehand while reacting to my video now this stream i don't have to show you simply because it was not published if you would like to see it all you all you have to do is simply politely ask nathan to i'm going to stop one more time and say this i understand you guys are trying to make jokes this isn't a place literally this is a video about there's this video had a rape claim in it if you're going to start fucking laughing about shit and talking about, like, jokes, not the place. Not the place. Fix your shit. Also, I'm going on my own terms to do this. I'm not going to be harassed or, I guess, pushed to guide the conversation a certain way. This is what I'm saying. I'm showing my evidence I've worked days on. I'll do it when I feel ready. And not because someone else told me I have to be ready. When I say no is no... No means no. And when I say yes means yes, that's one yes means yes. To publish it for you. And I'm sure he would. I'm sure he wouldn't mind publishing it at all. So we can all see exactly what I'm telling you about and see if this is the truth in the situation or not. This stream was March 10th around noon central time on this channel. Remember that day? If you'd like that so evidence, the not that up from Nathan. probably up to Nathan. If he'd like to prove me right or not and see if I'm a man of my word. I find this to be a good test. Either he keeps it unpublished Hiding it and no one. There's one of the traps I laid, and it, it worked. Or not. It, it proved. Or it already proved it something. Does. So, and clearly everyone can see this true side of him. Your choice. And he made his choice. I would also like to make a point about long videos. If you don't like them, that's fine. But at the same time, it is disingenuous to speak about said video or topic when you haven't watched it all the way through. For example, in the stream, he said he only watched through 15 minutes of a 40-minute video and said it was stupid. Even before in the screenshot, he's done the same. That is the same behavior as a middle schooler paying attention for only 15 minutes of an hour long math class and wondering why the test doesn't make any sense. Now, moving on, there are a few other screenshots that I'd like to simply lay out since I don't believe they need their own point, but would be worth at least presenting. I've also interviewed many individuals, all having their own opinions. However, this one's weird because he's like, 
Yeah, Nathan's like, you, uh, where is it? With Central. Let's fucking I'm go back wondering to that. why the test doesn't make any sense. Now, moving on, there are a few other screenshots that I'd like to simply lay out since I don't believe the need their own points, but would be. Not gonna lie, Blue Digit put. If someone put Blue Digit in front of me on any list, I might topple the UK government. I'd be so mad, bro. He looks punchable ASL. And I know he's still here. You punch up a little, and he still hasn't said anything. Okay. Um. That, that's that's physical violence. You gotta like def you gotta say no. Like that's fuck. How is that not wrong, bro? Like how is that not wrong? If if I heard someone say, "Oh, I'm gonna like do X uh, X Y Z to someone," inferring real physical violence, like that's. Not fucking funny, bro. Let's keep going. Be worth at least presenting. I've also interviewed many individuals, all having their own opinions. However, this one I also find kind of interesting because it's like, so I've tried being nice to him. Um, you can see this as a joke. You can read this in two ways. Um, again though, facts don't care about your feelings. We can only go off of the evidence that's been given. Based off the evidence that has been given, do you think Nathan's been nice to me? Based off the evidence, I would say no. So, I do not believe this to be in good nature. Um, this is me just trying to reach out and be like, nice. I mean, like, buy your video, my friend. The only way you could take that in a bad way is sarcastic, but I was being serious. I think that's pretty serious. Here you can see, thanks, throat goat. Debatable. We're going to leave that debatable. My opinion, the way I took it, Based on all the other comments, since there was not one single nice comment, I did take that as something mean. So, we're going to go forward. This is the last individual I will have to speak. And I... Zara can speak to me when we're done doing this. Because I have some stuff to say about that too. This is some serious claims. This isn't a joke just to see who's going to talk about what first. We're dealing with this first. And then we'll go forward. I want to talk about the facts of this shit first. I believe what these say to be genuine and important. All right, so based upon like the drama you've seen between like me and Nathan, and honestly like the community itself, like what is your perspective on how like essentially it sounds cringe saying it out loud, but, like but the way I've been treated, what's your opinion on it? I think that you as a person, not just as like he's legit. The one person can take this to. We're going to talk about this in a bit, but Zar does not... Zar has openly told me he doesn't really support me on this stuff anymore. Um, he said he helped me with this, which he did, but it's also like, I shouldn't have to beg for this to be dealt with. They shouldn't have even come to this point. It should have just been dealt with. The fact that I even had to drag my girlfriend to be here again is a problem. Um, in my DMs today, he, he basically was like, yeah, no, uh, you, you said you said that... You know, we'll, go, we'll actually show it. We'll show it later, but... Long story short, um, I don't think this is a joke, and I don't think Zara's been taking it as seriously as he should have been, because this is very, very, very serious to me, the f to the point where I have debated taking legal action. So. Another, you know. I'll talk to Zara while I'm done with this. But for now, we're going to keep going through this, because these, this is what's been up figure online i think you as a person definitely in no way deserve this and like neither do you as a person online or just like an online figure wait here here's a good point so um ozio he banned several of his friends to support you lol at least give the man a word that's where you guys have an issue that is where you guys don't understand or frankly and i'm trying to be polite about this but you guys aren't polite or even grown up enough to understand this the fact you even had to say support Friends, it doesn't matter about that. It's, is this following guidelines? Is this the right thing to do? Zar should not be looking at these people and be like, oh, these are my friends, so I have to treat them different. But I'm going, I'm going to have to this time. Like, no. That term should be gone. He got rid of these people in order to follow guidelines. That should be what, in, that's what should be in people's heads. Simple as that. Simple as that. And the fact that even, that was even in the discussion, oh, Zar had to deal with his friends to support you. What?
that's a problem. Let's go. Already, is it very unprofessional to do the things like witch hunting or, you know, just harassing in general or just insulting? Comrade, birdcage has not been changed for a while. And that's the thing, because I do believe there can be change. I want there to be change. That's why I'm I'm taking a, a huge gamble doing this and speaking out, because either, as you've already seen, I'm going to be fucking laughed at and this is just going to be a joke while I'm talking about some really fucking serious things, or it's not going to be laughed at and actually we're going to have some fucking change. And that's what I want. I want there to be change. I want there to be change. I want to forgive people. I want us to fucking rise up and do something different for this fucking game, for the community. But I'm not going to be able to until, until this is dealt with. It's like very petty, unprofessional in like a business space where like your equals as like both producers or like, you know, influencers and stuff like that. But just like as people in general, it's just not kind. And I think that... I'm not refusing. I'm going through this first. I've said this multiple times. We're going through this first. The things that have been said towards you, the people you know, you know, your community, your content that's just completely unrelated with the, like, the community that, that that is, you know, Nathan's in and stuff like that. I think that's, like, very unnecessary. It's very, you know, it's more than petty. It's just, like, you know, why spend your time on this? This guy is just, like, clearly, you know... There's something wrong. I feel like it's just so like he's taking it a little too serious. It shouldn't be that serious. And there's definitely, I feel at least, that there is some ego there because of both his state in the game, in the groups of people in the game, and also, you know, because of his community, of him, you know, being a streamer and all that. Not that it directly correlates to like an egotistical behavior, but like. You know, multiple things fall in place to get to, like, what happened. This was going to be um, exposed. The whole point of this witness thing actually was to point out who would actually go after them. And we, I've already found a few people actually just... I've already heard about people going after them. The only reason people are fucking lucky, frankly, is because they are good people. And they're like, it's whatever. But I've already heard about shit. You know, now. I just got name dropped. As uh, much as I've... You should ban everyone who thinks it's a joke from your stream. No, I want to see what they have to say. I want to see. I want everyone to start saying shit. That like, if they want to say some fucked up shit, let them. Let it all be documented on the stream. Because there is proof. I've heard him. He's done not like, just hearsay or whatnot. Things, like, for an in-game example, like in-game examples are when he was premier, he didn't communicate at all with what he was doing. He would just go forth with it and then his decision was basically a law and then only to be disputed after it was made. That was just a general, like, in-game thing that you could do whatever you want with. But, like, an actual example, I'd say, is uh, Lord Chat, which can be used for incentive. There was a message in Lord Chat that wasn't a threat on someone's life. It wasn't... I mean, in-game, obviously. There wasn't a threat on anyone in-game. There wasn't a threat to attack harass no nothing not even i will say this i didn't want to cut up audio so like this point i do find is like not as needed because like it is yeah. it's just purely in game that's just that's just my opinion um yeah. but like so it was still cicado's open opinion um cicado was being honest i didn't want to get rid of it so um that's just my opinion you guys can still listen to it um but like i yeah. think it's mainly just in game stuff so um i that's my opinion so break any laws yeah but I also, just, it's like, hey, just to this guy make it, like, more obvious. This is just stuff I've personally seen in-game, and it's not, like, anything personal I've taken personally. Yeah. So, like, it's just, like, me scanning through my brain for, my, uh, my, brain, my brain for like, literally anything. I don't know. Well, I mean, I want to just keep the front part, but I also didn't want, like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to cut up where it's, like, okay, here's what you said, and then here's one thing I didn't like you said, and then, like, I thought that would have been wrong. Yeah. Um, especially... Yeah. After the fact, I definitely didn't think, like, that whole, like, questioning part at the end was really that strong. But, I mean, it's just, you know... It wasn't really... That I, I would rather be longer and, like, have all the points and what you said in its full form instead of just, like, oh, I'm gonna chop this up and chop this up. Like, you know, made a foolish no. mistake, and I think it's kind of foolish that that happened. And they kind of deserve to die because they made that foolish mistake. And then they died because Nathan went to the incentive tickets and then just straight up pulled them aside and killed them. Which I thought, like, what's the purpose of that? This guy isn't a danger to you. This guy isn't like any, like, that's not even really in character for Prometheus to do. And I just thought it was like, 
hey, look, I can go get a free kill. So he just took up the opportunity. That's, you know. Do you think there is bias in how he's treated versus other players? 100%. I mean, like, that's, that goes, and I could say that with positivity. Like, you could probably find oodles of evidence, you know, like, bias on him compared to, like, other people. Now, do you think that bias is something that is warranted bias, or do you think it's bias that is toxic? I mean, there was a point where it was kind of warranted, but then it's gotten to a point where it's mostly just just bias, toxic bias. Now, before we come to a close, I'll say this. Nathan Maddock has not been completely bad. He's been nice to me. Once. I was on stream and had a panic attack. Many people were worried about me and I was grateful, but during this time, he called me on stream to make sure I was doing all right and then left. That was kind and I think it speaks well of him. However, that is all I can literally say that he has done well towards me. So there's a point that I left out on this, and I think um, Nathan was completely this. We, me, and Nathan had a discussion yesterday, and Nathan was completely right about this, which I I do want to speak about. Um, I also want to speak about Zar because Zar also was very very understanding with this moment. Um, if anything, this is a point at least with in-game stuff where I did have bias myself, um, given to me, because you know I I was very uh, stressed out in this fucking moment. Um. If you guys want to hear about more in detail, we can later. But, like, long story short, something happened with Birdcage, and it stressed me the fuck out. Um, well, Nathan, you know, checked up on me, and I was very grateful for that. And um, one of the things he said was, you know, um, I'd like to put the past behind us. And, yeah, I'd like to put the past behind us, right? And, like, you know what? Sure. That is a key point, because that right there, to me, is almost like setting a boundary. It's like, okay, we are now good. I want to have a good slate with you. That's what it, that's what that looked like to me. And I mean, I haven't spoken to Nathan enough, but because I didn't know a whole lot about him, I want to take his word at face value and be like, you know what? Yes. I'm with that. Okay. Um, at this moment, I was very grateful. Obviously it's not all hunky dory because there's this video coming out. So clearly Nathan broke that vow and that's why we're here. You'll see a lot of things where Nathan, um, with talking to different people, Having inter different interactions, he will kind of change his, the way he speaks and the way he acts. Um, he'll also change his mannerisms in ways, and he'll also change... Um, he will act as if what he said one second didn't exist the other. I will go over that in more detail in a bit, um, because I have a few screenshots about um, him taking responsibility over things. But um, we'll go forward with that, okay? The only thing. To me, the best example as... Oh, yeah, but one thing I want to say, too, is Zar in that situation also was a big, big help. I'm very, very, very grateful to Zar. Zar has been nothing but amazing to me in that situation as well. I want to give a huge props to him in that because, I mean, Zar could have not been, and he was. So, um, I want to leave that out there, too, okay? As weird as it sounds is, as an abusive parent, sure, they may feed you sometimes and let you live under the same roof, but... That should never disregard the abuse given from them, especially since it can have long-term results. Based on the definition of abuse, Nathan falls into it. Nathan was abusing me, based off the definition. The reason I bring this up, mainly though, is actually for his audience. Because a lot of people will be like, it's like, oh, well, Nathan's done this and this and this, that's good. And it's like, that's great. Um, But at the same time, even though that Nathan has done all these good things... That doesn't excuse when he's done a lot of fucked bad things. Never. Um, and that's why I used to be a parent. Because it's like, yeah, sure, you, you might live under the same roof. They might fucking feed you and whatnot. Um, but, I mean, like, that doesn't change the fact that, like, if every night when you get home, they're, like, yelling at you, like, how dare you fucking live here? And how dare you not help out around the house? And then going to the point to every fucking day down your throat about that. Um, to a point where it is abusive, right? Abusive. That is the main term. That doesn't condone it. Ever. Okay? Let's go. Okay. You want my honest opinion? It, the first part isn't even that crazy. Like, you see people saying wild, heavily offensive words all the time. People having an edgy sense of humor. I've had a sen edgy sense of humor, and I'm sure you could find me laughing about it a lot too. But the problem for me with this, and with most of the time, things I stand for in this, is intention. We're going to leave. This is the main point. Main point. Please, please listen to this. You can say some fucked up shit. I said some fucked up shit. I've heard people say fucked up shit. The biggest thing, again, is what is the intention of it? 
what is the intention of it? And are you sincere about your apologies afterwards? Because if not, then, like, frankly, dude, everyone's going... It's just going to be Twitter then, dude. It's just going to be fucking Twitter. Like, if that's the case, ban fucking everyone, dude. Because I'm not scot-free. No one's fucking scot-free. No one is. So, when the intention is to truly hurt someone, that's what I want people to focus on. Because um, this isn't just him... Oh, here's a screenshot of him saying that. Like, it's not that. It's about him having the intention to hurt me while... The guidelines that Zara has in place currently, I do believe, was bent to fit into his bias when another player would not get away with that. That's why I want what to point What was forward. the motive? Is it to tell a joke with friends, even if distasteful? Or is it to truly harm someone, something, and hurt them as much as possible? And from the evidence I've shown, I do not believe Nathan has shown he is looking to make me laugh at all. Certainly not my girlfriend. I am also a Christian no, speaking and believer if one okay. is remorseful, well, they should be given a second chance to better themselves. Such so as Goblin. The difference here is clearly Nathan is good for Goblin. Sorry. And if anything, this is one thing to look at as well. So again, so I said, he said, um, I said, I mean, this is when he said the R word to me. I do not condone saying the same one. No one said anything to him. Um, then afterwards, Potato was like, you know, you should have said regard. He said, no, this merchant basically insulted devs over, um, uh, insulted devs. I have no regrets. So over an in-game thing, right? So me saying, you know, I don't like Gen 4, essentially. You know, I think Gen 4, you know, is just not it. I'm going to try my best to, like, you know, find a way past that. He thought, oh, I'm so angry. It's such a big deal that I have to call him a slur. I have to call him the R word. And then the last part, which is very important. And then this is still edited from him. This is with him editing it. It says, I have no regrets. I don't mean, I said to me where I don't condone saying to anyone, I have no regrets. proud of his actions plus he has done this multiple times and i did bring up older things but that is um ultimate um leave it the chat way it is if you if you want mind if if you could just leave this the way it is we're like you know i mean people are yelling about this and like causing a scene i'd rather it stay like that frankly so that's what i want it's also why the most recent point about the slurs of him saying them in less than 24 hours of each other was my first point to show that over the course of months, he has not changed his behavior in the slightest. Now, I'm on a timer, and honestly, already this video is quite long, so I'll end with this. Word has gone through about this, and I have been wanting to speak out against his behavior and abuse for some time. And Nathan's response was that if I do this, he would make sure to fight. <laughs> I find it very funny that when I said, like, because he, he literally just said, oh, if Blue does it, fine, then I'm going to hit back harder. That's not a man that wants to work things out or have a discussion. That's not. Again, that's the one that wants to hurt you. You're back. Bite back harder, if you will. And you know what? Fine, Nathan. You do that. You try to go on and humiliate me some more, as you already have in front of hundreds of people. Try to bring up- Here's another- uh, uh, Okay, I went too fast. Older content, which- Wait! You already did. Try to berate- And that right there is already an example of witch hunting, just from evidence. Um, I'll show Zara's DMs for a bit where Zara was like, oh, I have no more evidence, it's past stuff. That right there is clearly still in world main, was never deleted, so clearly it's still active because it was never dealt with. And, um, he's trying to incite witch hunting. Clearly he's trying to, like, bring up older, like, other un unrelated birdcage content to attack me, and that's what happened. People were laughing about it. Like, they thought it was a joke, so let's keep going. Also, this was unwarranted, just randomly, he says Santa needs his elf back. Um, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but even though my ballot me is a little outdated, I have my height there. Um, clearly he's trying to... If He's trying to go after my height. So, um, yeah. And body shame me for things of which I cannot control, such as my height, or my teeth, or anything else of my body. Perhaps you can call me some slurs again, and that'll work. Use your leverage against me and throw me to the mud. Laugh in my face. I don't care. You can do whatever you want, Nathan. Because, ironically, that is already what you've been doing. And if revenge is your go-to, go enjoy yourself. You told me to stop acting like a victim. Well, here I am. And after months of being told to leave, that I was less than, being humiliated and berated, here I still stand when I think the average person would have been long gone. I never want to hear you call me or anyone else you attacked a victim. You caused this. Don't you dare downplay my experiences, and certainly not theirs. You caused this. You will hear this. But as for me, I've said my piece. And even now, Nathan, I still don't hate you. I love you as a brother in Christ, but I do pray for you more. As I've said before, I forgive you. 
I will never forget this. I haven't. This is why I'm making this now. I hope things go better for you and you do find it in yourself to change. I will speak on a verse of the Bible I had once before. Ye have heard it, that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. You have heard it, that it was said, Eye for an eye, and tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek- Nathan was also not part of those jokes, never condoned them? Okay. Um, so that doesn't really matter. Also, Ozzy, doesn't matter. Uh, please don't be condoning or trying to advertise someone else's stream. Please get out of here, okay? Not cool. That's like me trying to advertise something else on Birdcage. Not cool. Get out of here, okay? Um, be better. Cannoli. Um, those, I, he did condone them because clearly, you know, he, you could see screenshots, which I just showed. So I don't really know what you're talking about. And two, he was a part of them because there was screenshots. Again. Showing it. And second, when witnesses. So I don't really understand what more you need. Turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. I don't have time for any more revenge or petty things. After all, that is the Lord's place. And I've done all I need to. Perhaps in the future we could make up and be friends. But for now, stay blessed. May God be with you. Okay, we're done with this video. Now, we are going to move on to what Nathan's videos were, okay? Um, big deal, okay? Now, again, I'm moving over to talk about all this. Again, evidence. Um, dude, I just saw Nathan's. He's going on Deep Oak and he said, he's not even showing screenshots. Or, oh my God, you're kidding me, bro. He's. Okay, that's really sad, actually. That's that's really sad. Okay. That's really... Yeah. Okay. So, one of our agreements... Um, he actually showed the screenshot, so that's why I'm going to like kind of just go off of this right here. Is one of our agreements that we had... Um, is right here. I said, I'm going to take my video down. If you take your videos down, right? Because I just wanted this drama to end. He said, well, staff want me to put them back up. We had an agreement to stop this drama. Nathan wants to keep going. This is sick. This, to me, is very sick. Okay? So, we're going to go forward and keep speaking about this. Okay? Um, yeah. Let's, um, let's do this. So, this is Nathan's point of view now. I'll be honest. Okay? Um... I worked, what, how many? Seven days on this, on my video? He just did this. Um, and most, like, none of this is even. I was not expecting to be making this video, specifically because I know a lot of the video uh, clips and the screenshots in the video about me was taken completely out of context. Taken completely out of context. Remember that. Um, this is something where if you want to, this is why it's important, you can actually go to World Man and look it up yourself, okay? You can go to Worldman and look it up yourself. That's a very important thing. And I think you guys should, okay? Um, definitely go and do that. So, do not, even myself included, do not trust just my word. Do not trust just Nathan's word. Take the evidence, take the videos, go to the to the uh, world main and find out for yourself, okay? Please. Or they were from like three or four months ago. Um... Yeah, I guess the rape claim was that long ago. Hmm. You trying to downplay that? Now, I'm going to be reading these as I see them. I'll put the screenshots that I'm reading. But uh, I can't lie. What I said here back then was uh, a bit much. A I bit much. I can't lie. I do agree mm. with you. And I'm afraid. I mean, I already apologized for this. An apology you accepted. Yeah. And then you did it again. You're not sorry if you do it again. Quite literally. And you saw the screenshots. You kept calling me shit again. He kept fucking defaming me behind my back again. Like, this isn't an apology you're sorry for. So, there's a problem. Let's keep going. Very sorry for that. But, um, what I do remember... Yo, can we squash this? Because Nathan is definitely not getting unbanned. Refuse. I'm not wanting to talk about this yet. 
I'll talk about this with you guys when I feel comfortable. But when I say no is no for when I want to talk about something, no means no, yes means yes. When I say I'm talking about something serious and there's a YouTube video put up with right claims, I don't want people joking about it. I want people actually talking about the fucking video and taking it seriously. No shit this is impacting the community because this should have never even fucking had a deal with in the community. The fact this came this far in the community, it should have been done. But it wasn't dealt with. It wasn't dealt with. Let's keep going. You're dragging out views. Are you serious, G-Cool? You're serious. With all this shit that's going on, you're saying dragging views. That's sick. That's sick, G-Cool. About this time was that during this time period, I can remember that, um... And actually, based off evidence as well, when I said I'm done, because I took the video down myself, so, like, even if with your view idea, like, I took it down myself, Nathan put his back up. So if anyone's trying to farm fucking views, it's fucking Nathan. Let's keep going. The lore of the game and the game itself was getting insulted. We cannot just end this all in the VC. I fucking tried. I tried with you guys multiple times, actually. And considering a lot of the staff are my Let's friends, including those that made it and continue to make I'll it. I'll talk to them one. I was I've said this multiple times. You guys need to stop instigating, okay? When I said I will talk to them when I'm done speaking about this stuff, I meant that. You guys are not going to force me or push me to make a conversation when I'm not ready yet. Do you understand? You're not going to force me to do that because that's what you feel. We're waiting. We're waiting. And I'm going to get this done. And then we'll move on. A bit offended and I took it a bit far. I apologize for that. Now for this next screenshot here, what I am... Um, okay, so again, look at this. This is about the R word, right? ...saying in the screenshot is I said a word that I do not condone anyone to use. The reason this word was used was because... And look at what I said. Gen 4 was disappointing. I will serve my people and prove its worthlessness. That's about game, right? Strong claim, but never insult anyone. I was talking about something in game. The devs and staff were yet again that are getting discriminated against in the sense that... Their mm. hard work was just getting besmirched. It was as if everything they worked hard for, for us as a player base, for those that don't know, they recently worked on the Gen 4 gear. And um, yeah, I noticed that in your video, you decided to hide your reply. Now remember, remember what I showed you guys? So literally just right there, he also just showed it in his own... Literally, okay, let's go back a little bit. He literally just showed it himself. So like, this is what I'm talking about. Um, This is literally what I'm talking about. Let's go back a little bit to find where it's literally shown. Right here. It is right here. It's literally right here. You literally put it in your own video, Nathan. You put it in your own video, Nathan. So, <laughs> when we go forward and magically... Hold on. When we go forward and magically the quality is lower and message could not be loaded? What? You gotta be kidding me. You've got um cannoli, do not bring my religion into it as a factor. I bring I say this because that's just my belief. You denouncing me just because of religion is wrong. That's very fucked up, cannoli. Okay? I say that you bring, you take it back. Um Ozio. Oh, you wanna see it again? Sure, Ozio, let's do it. So right here is what he said, and then we'll go back to literally in the same video where magically it's there again. In better quality. Because that's what he was replying to. If this isn't literally him outing himself in this fucking part right here, I don't know what is. Okay? Let's keep going. Now. Whenever you died on your narrow Fritz life. Oh, yeah, what's this? Did I skipped a little. Okay. I skipped a little. My bad. We skipped a little too much. The and I'd like to say this. He's like, he's trying. So he's literally in the sentence condoning it. So he's trying to explain why he said it. As if that's going to make it any better. And the problem here is the fact that he's saying, well, it, it was hard on the devs. Yeah. It's a game. You're going to fucking talk about how you do and do not like the game. That's just the way it is, man. Sorry. I might talk about how I think Demon Slayer shit. But if I talk about, let's say, an anime, does that mean, oh, Blue said this and these people have worked so hard, so I have to call him the slur. I have to call him the R word. Like, dude, that is crazy. 
That makes no fucking sense. That makes literally no sense. If that is what you guys believe, where if someone has an opinion about something, you have to attack them and call them slurs, I think there's a problem. Let's move on. Devs, but okay. What I'm talking about in this, about playing the victim, is the fact that whenever you died on your narrow Fritz life, of a life that you didn't confirm with Lord Team at all. And you um, so what happened actually was I spoke to Czar and Jambo. Um, they said I could claim to be a Fritz, but I couldn't actually be a Fritz. That's all that happened. So, um, so just for your information, because I don't see any screenshots here. I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm also not seeing any screenshots or evidence. I'm just hearing your word when I put tons of my own. So let's keep going. You just did of your own accord. Well, let me be honest, you're really, you're being really mature, no hate or anything. You really think, you really think that it's immature talking about this shit. This is not immature. Slurs are not immature. To talk out, to speak against slurs is not immature. To speak against witch hunting is not immature. To speak against abuse and harassment is not immature. To speak against rape claims is not immature. If you ever say that again, you know, go on, go on, say it again, say it again. I'd really like to hear how you think that's immature. Because that's if that's the life you want to fucking go forward with, that's on you, man. And then people killed you for impersonating the royal family. You decided to make it seem like everyone was supposed to abide by your rules. I was, um, I was meant to talk about incentive rules at this point. But like, again, Nathan's kind of going more towards the game. And he's trying to explain how the victim thing was in that. But the reason, and this is why I mean, it's funny because he talks about context. We can go back to World Man after this if you guys would like to. The main thing that's a problem here is at first it was that, but then multiple times I tell him to leave me alone. I block him from chat, still trying to talk to me. I tell him I don't want to talk. He's still trying. Like, that's where he just keeps coming after me when I clearly don't want to speak. So that's where that comes into play. It was just, again, stating my opinion. Uh, at the time, I felt like you were acting like a victim. If the, you saw that. At the time, I felt you were acting like a victim. as an offense i could understand why you would see that offensive mm -hmm. but at the time i was genuinely just telling you how you were acting from an outside perspective in this screenshot here i'm pretty sure don't quote me on this kaikita is that if that's how you pronounce your name this guy's name he was talking about the people that killed your life not getting a trial um i'm pretty sure that's what i was referring to Ak, I'm not sure if you're here for the, the whole video. This VOD will be up afterwards. Um, I'm telling you now, I tried handling it easier. And he kept going with things. And that's why I got so far. Okay? Um, again, at the time, uh, I was coming from a good place. I know from my word. Again, tough love is one of the main traits people know me for. That's literally the same thing that abusive parents say. It's tough love. Like, dude, that's literally what abusive parents say. I don't know what else. Like, what? You know, it's hard to, it's hard to glimpse that. Just know that um, I am Northern Irish, so cursing is in a lot of my vocabulary. I know that's not an excuse or a reason to be, you know, cursing. I understand that Americans use less curse words in their natural speaking, natural vocabulary. If this came off as offensive, I'm again, you know, deeply sorry. So he's talking about the M-O-N-G word. Um, we can look up where it's from, which I already did earlier, um, but... Long story short, again, go back in the thing if you want. Um, you know what? Let's just do it now. Fuck it. Fuck it. Because I don't want to deal with people just saying, eh, you don't know that. Let's do it now. Just because I have the evidence. All right. For hours, Nathan Maddock in the cross branch server. All right. M O N T. Birdcage now. He may. All right, here. So, this is literally the first thing you look up. Oxford Dictionary, I would say, is a very. um. Acclaimed dictionary, right? Right here, it literally says British, right? Now, with words, if you saw this part, if you saw this part, you can actually look into the the roots of words and the backgrounds, basically where they came from, right? If there's different means for them, all that, right? This is the number one definition. And the other definition, the term M-O-N-G is actually a shortening of the term M, is this. Is this?
there's no going around this. There's history of it. There is a term. If he meant something different, then he needs to be more informed about this shit. Because this is not okay. And my number one point I still want to claim is, if you do something wrong, that's fine. But look here. He's talking about how he's sorry, but not once have I still heard from the victim, Kingston, that he heard that he was told sorry. And let me tell you, Kingston's a minor. So, never once did he get an apology for this. Okay? Does that mean... Um, no, it does not, actually. So, um, M-O-N-G-R-O-L is um, not the same. Close. Starts coming from the same derogative, but no. Okay? Let's keep going. Uh, just spilled fucking monster on my keyboard. Regarding this screenshot, again, I thought we were joking around. Based on this other screen... So, this is what we're talking about out of context. I myself feel a little bad, but it's also like I offered a lot more screenshots than he does in this video. Um, so, you could see a pattern of the abuse, right? With this, he, he just shows us without any more. But when he t talks about context, I'm sorry, Nathan, but if you want to prove it wrong, then give us something to work off of. Like, not just your feelings, dude. Like, if we're going off of base... Off the guidelines, this is still wrong. And based off of the way you've been treating me, it still doesn't make sense why you'd be joking all of a sudden. So you can't just switch up the moment you get you get in trouble where it's like, oh, well, um, now I'm joking. Now that I'm in trouble, I'm joking. So I thought we were joking around, but that's my bad. Um I'm gone. pretty sure somewhere in your video you mentioned from what I was told from my friends, I will get the screenshots up. But from what I was told, you compared me to an abusive dad. I did, and I still am. Dad. Well, not dad, parent. Which I don't get the reference to. Wait, why are you going back to the video instead of actually telling me what you saw in the video? Shouldn't you be talking about what you saw in the video? Because I hope you watched it. But what I do know, I don't think that's a very good thing to compare me to. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a good thing at all. That's a terrible thing. That's a very terrible, sad thing to be compared to. You're right. Especially because you said that the only time I was nice to you was when I you were breaking down. And, that is true. Um, and I was helping you. Now, regarding the screenshot, I don't actually know what it's about. You don't know what it's about? Show us what it's about. Bring it up. You just magically say stuff? Is that how this is now? You just, you just magically say that on the same date that we have other screenshots of you acting abusive during when people are joking about raping my girlfriend and then when I do ban you, you're trying to get back in through a loophole? This doesn't look good, bro. Because it was three to four months ago. Again, this was before I apologized to you. I'm pretty sure if we go... I accepted it. You broke that. You broke that. You said bygones are be bygones. You did not let them be bygones. You moved on. You kept attacking me. You broke that back on your stream which i noticed you didn't include in your video whenever you were having a panic attack or breaking down whichever you like to call it um i can remember calling you and apologizing for everything in the past and if we can let bygones be guy be bygones and and then that was right and I, I do apologize for that um but it's like i said like you know he if anything it makes it worse because he's like let's let bygones be bygones and then after some time he attacks me again And, and I think, if anything, after the the rape shit, that is pretty generous of me to just be like, yeah, I fucking forgive you. Um, you said yes. <clears throat> Regarding this screenshot, I genuinely wanted to talk to you in VC to explain your actions yet again from an outside perspective. And I told you to leave me alone, and I banned you from my chat. I don't care what you want, it's about what I feel comfortable with. Like, it's kind of fucked up that you think because you feel comfortable talking, that means I have to talk to you. No. No means no. Yes means yes. Do you understand what that means? What I've noticed is you have this trend where you do things um, and you expect people to behave a certain way or to act a certain way. And I just wanted to tell you how that looks from an outside perspective. Again. Um, yeah. So when there's guidelines put in place, I expect that. When someone says a slur, I expect that to be dealt with. When I think that there is rape blames, I expect everyone to be disgusted by that. That's what I expect. No shit.
it was coming from a good place and I genuinely just wanted to help. What I like based on the screenshots I showed, you're a liar. To say is that I was not a part of the insults towards your girlfriend. Um, I'm pretty sure I DM'd you. Uh, I'll be so let me mind you, March 16th. This is the date of when I posted my video. The right here is 7 36 p.m. This is after my video came out. So you were not sorry beforehand. You're sorry because now you're called out. That's the only reason you're sorry now. And it's at such a late date, this 736 is after you got banned. So he's not even sorry. Oh, wait, hold on. I think it's because he's in a different time zone. Forget that last point because I think he might be in a different time zone. That's why it's so late. But the fact that he said he's sorry after the fact, I don't believe that. Especially with, again, the evidence, the screenshots that I showed before. Okay? Be honest, I didn't watch the video at the time that I sent it. I didn't know. I, I don't have anything right now yet. Said about sorry. Me. But what I do know was my friends are telling me about what Tori said about your girlfriend. And I have to say that's pretty fucked up. Um, I'm sorry that happened. Uh, I'm not going to put any screenshots of what Tori said. Because honestly, it's the most fucked up shit I've seen. I have to also mention that um, the word, this word that I put up on. Look at where that comes from. Now, the reason that's big is when you look up the word M-O-N-G. This is from... Users also ask. He didn't show the source. Whenever you're showing this, you need to show a source. Because I looked up where this came from. And it's not from a verified dictionary at all. It's literally from a random website. Where's your source, Nathan? Where's your proof? It doesn't matter what you think. I need evidence. It's slang, I think. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, Because that's the first word I looked up. M-O-N-G. It said... Offensive term, British, right? It is slang for calling someone. You can look up the definition yourself. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, facts don't care about your feelings. If you feel different about this, that's fine. But the, the, the difference with this is, I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you believe. What matters is the fact. And the matter of the fact is, from the evidence I showed was was from an actual dictionary. The first result on Google, the history showed that it was an offensive term. That's what he was saying. And he still has not said sorry to Kingston. Understand? On the screen, this is a word that means where I'm from is called dumb. Uh, remember, no source. No source. Um, I can remember a bit from your video mentioned. Also, if you look up how many times he said it, I find that very funny too in the context he does in world name. The history of the word, I cannot lie to you. That doesn't mean anything to me. What? Um, you need to say, okay, let's, um, let's see what he says. That word in itself like it's hard to describe a culture i guess but the culture literally says there it's it's british in nature dude it's it's you can actually look it up it doesn't it's not hard to explain actually from where i'm from in you know uh britain the word uh you know this word is used to refer to someone that is dumb or foolish um now that i know the american term i can promise you i will not say it that is extremely so literally no hold on let's fucking look Okay. Let's look at here, boys. Let us looky here. Okay. So, um, right here. Here's the page. We're going to refresh it just to prove that this is the page, right? Right here. Here's the thing. Refresh it, right? British Oxford languages. Oxford is a dictionary. Let's look in Wikipedia. Right here. Don't fucking lie to people.
Do your fucking research. Okay. Messed up uh, definition. Um... Notice that it says... Du it, what I'm saying is from... Do your research. Do your fucking research. And I do not condone. I've, I've explained this multiple times, Ralph. So like, I'm, I'm kind of tired of just like saying it's like one person, then the other, then the other. What else that says this word? But yeah, like I said, a lot of the. And there's also multiple other words. So like that's the main root of the word that I just showed. They're talking about M O N G. There was multiple because obviously it went to multiple different places in the UK. The meaning didn't change though. King shots used. Um, so. were my own forms of uh trying to help i can uh, promise you like the ones i s okay clearly didn't mean that way i don't believe him then based on the evidence i don't believe that i can just go off the evidence said and facts don't care about your feelings uh we're in good faith they genuinely were um hopefully this drama we can put past us again like before um when you had that panic attack and you know we apologized to each other we made up and we moved on I don't know how this shit got so far out of like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't. It got so far because we, you said, let's put this behind us. And then you didn't stop. You kept going. You broke that trust. You lied. I don't know how this shit got so out of control. But um, anything involving reading your discords, your alt, any alt accounts that you think that I made, that is completely false. I can remember joining a VC. G cool. There was rape claims made. You want to call that farming? I think once just to listen to see what everyone's saying. Then I left. Uh That's clearly again, the screenshots. There's literally screenshots showing that that was not the case. You've really got to be kidding here, dude. Um, unless you have genuine proof. Okay. G, G cool's not looking to actually understand. He's not trying to help. This is what I'm talking about. And there's clear evidence already in this fucking stream where this is someone that's just trying to feed a narrative. And that's not okay. You know, if you can show me proof, I'll openly apologize. Uh, yeah, of course. Actually, this whole stream, if you want to look back on it and actually everything I showed, um, yeah, that'd be really nice. But the difference is, you just saying something doesn't mean anything. You need to fucking prove that you mean it. And clearly, just from the stream as well, you don't mean it. You're trying to make a whole fucking spectacle out of this. I told you I want to be done with this. Let's all take down our videos. You had to put yours back up. You said it's because of staff. I don't give a shit what staff said. I, we had an understanding. And the whole time, I also said, me and you, let's just me and you have a discussion. You fucking lie with that too. You fucking recorded that shit. At least Levi had some fucking decency with me. You didn't. I've not dealt with someone more fucking manipulative than you, dude. For it if my actions were considered wrong, of course. Yeah, please don't um, accuse people from bird kids or any community um, without proper evidence. There was multiple evidence. I don't see what the fuck you're actually providing most of the time. Like, half this is not even full to help context. And I'd really like to hear you say that to my girlfriend's face, dude. Thanks. I noticed that there were some screenshots that were heavily taken out of context, not just my own. But I don't think it's good, nice, or wise to just blatantly um, construct things in a sense that would get someone in trouble for something they didn't did. They did do it. There are screenshots. I'm, I'm giving my opinion, but I'm showing off what you guys did. That's literally what... Like, what are you talking about, dude? This is literally what you've done. And now you have the answer for it. And then... The only reason you're even apologizing now, the reason that this is a big deal, is because you didn't fucking do it beforehand. Every single time you did it, it was public. You didn't give a shit about me as a person. And frankly, I don't think you still do. Especially myself or someone else with proper evidence. Again, like I said, um, Anti. like I said in the, previously in the video, I apologize for the things that I needed to apologize for, especially the shit that was out of context. Um, and the things that were out of order, uh, a lot of it was genuinely from a good place. I was genuinely trying to help. Um, everyone that knows me can agree that I would never maliciously attack anyone. You said everyone, obviously. One, like you state that I have. And I have screenshot, like it doesn't matter. It's just like the, 
again, it's, it's the abusive dad part. It's like, you know, I used to take care of my son. At least I've done these good things. It's like, you've done some bad things too. It doesn't excuse that shit. It doesn't excuse it. Um, if I made you feel that way, again, I'm sorry, bro. Hopefully you can come to me next time and we can talk it out. So do you have anything to say? No. Literally everyone else even saying, can you apologize maybe to him and actually say, nah, he deserved it. Like, literally, literally with the R word thing. It's like, literally, I, I, potato say, can you, you know, you have anything to say to him? No. I can't lie. You came to me and you DM'd me. Um, do you have anything to say? And I said, no. Cause Perfect. To be honest, I don't know what you were talking about. I don't believe you. Literally, that was right after you called me a slur. I don't believe you. Um, There's also people calling it out too, I guess so I don't believe you. I just you. didn't deep this whole situation as much as you did, and uh, for that, I'm sorry if I made your feelings insignificant. I want you to know that um, you're a valued member of Birdcage, and not only to the Birdcage, but to the streamers as well. Um, I can promise you that I didn't mean to insult you in any way, shape, or form. All right, I'm going to go over this one part again because my girlfriend did. I want to speak about this. So the reason why I'm making this video is to state that me and Blue Digit are on good terms. We're uh, on the good track to become friends, I hope. Um, but some drama happened after the initial video. I ended up copyright striking. Yep, so that's what he did. Um, and I find it really funny because the whole time he's like, yeah, you know, let's talk it out. You know, you don't have any evidence. Um, and the evidence that, that was there wasn't that. Now, I find this very funny because when he copyright striked it, he put it for essentially... Um, I use their faces, which let me mind you, his profile picture is there, openly on YouTube. His uh, his face, multiple other people's faces are on Twitch, and they are all more or less public figures at this point. Now you gotta realize, I've worked in law enforcement. I don't know everything, but I have a decent idea about some of the law because I've done my search, and uh, YouTube Creative Commons allows this. When it comes to permission for getting people's faces, when there is Issues like this where you're not just, you know, using there's actually like context behind it and you're it's in a transformative manner, you can. And when they themselves have also put it up for the public in such a manner, for example, they're streamers. I can use that again if it's in a transformative way. That's why, for example, if you see like Glorb 2, right, and there's SpongeBob and Patrick and all of them dancing and rapping, why do you think that hasn't been copyright striked? It's because it's in a transformative way. It's because it's used in context. Now, this isn't joking, so why'd you use it? Now, I did joke in some manner, and that was transformative. Here's what I will say, though. The reason why mine was a little bit different is the same way, for example, you're watching a documentary um, on YouTube about, let's say, a police video, and someone's face is there. Why they allowed before things go through? Same example here, okay? So, I'm really tired of um, hearing Nathan's voice and his passive voice, and the world feels like he's, like he's feeling sorry or something like that. Blue Digit of the video, and the reason for this was... So I find it really funny that, essentially, the whole time he's trying to like act all nice and whatnot, and clearly he's trying to get this out of the public eye. And I think there's a reason for it. Because... And it's obvious. My good friend Levi's face was used for his permission. Now, the reason why this was such a big deal... My good friend, after seeing all those screenshots, I'm glad he's your friend. I am on decent terms with Levi as well now. Um, That's just reprehensible. Keep watching. It's because... Levi was accused of some very serious stuff without evidence. Without evidence. Hear what he said there. Accused of some very serious stuff without evidence. I just showed you the screenshots earlier in that fucking video. My girlfriend was here. There was a mod that said he saw it too. There was tons of fucking evidence. How dare you ever fucking downplay that shit again, dude. Don't you ever fucking downplay that. That's fucking sick. Um, and it's not something you would want your face to be known for. Not only this, but Levi's family member also ended up seeing the video. Not only that, but I was within my right of uh, copyright law to take down the video because my face was used for my permission and also my profile picture. Was oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Used as the thumbnail as well as um, other materials. After the copyright strikes. I'm not gonna lie, this sounds like coping to me and I don't feel like he actually understands what copyright is. Um, that's why, for example, instead of just doing an appeal, like, I literally said I'm going to take him to court. Like, I was, I was going to do civil and, uh, criminal action against him. Like, this wasn't funny to me. And I was dead serious about it, so. 
stuff happened. Um, Blue Digit DM me trying to sue me for uh, no, not just that. Video. It would have been both. Um, Probably only would have got, got you for cleared suing, up pretty but fast. Would have been me both. And Levi ended up talking to him about it, and I actually ended up talking to Blue because Levi was very respectful towards me. I offered the same hand to you because I thought it would have been the same. You fucking breached that trust. You you breached that trust again. It was fucking sick, dude. Digit for 30 minutes on call. Um, I apologize for things that were I needed to apologize for. Um, with uh, genuine sincerity, and I clearly not. Literally from this stream, you have proved you were not sincere about any of it. At all. I also gave context to some of the screenshots that he used in his video. I, mean, I, I don't believe he did. Literally his reasoning for most of it, a lot of it was just reasoning. Which, I mean, I guess you could say that's context, but like, more or less, no, he didn't. In Blue Digit actually came to the decision to take down both our videos, but I got told by staff that in order to get unbanned, I needed to spread my side of the story. Again, people didn't know said screenshots were out of context, and you didn't provide anything. And they were in context. People can literally check world main. Sorry, but you just posting a fucking video just to get fucking to follow, like, people to follow what you fucking believe? That's not enough, Nathan. You have to actually have to fucking prove it. Not just your fucking feelings. Facts! Do not care about your feelings. The reason the video is currently- And the thing was too, he said, staff said, staff said. This is between me and you, dude. I don't give a fuck what staff said. Staff was not there when my fucking girlfriend was getting this shit happened to her. Staff was not there for me when I was getting witch hunted and my fucking community had to deal with that. Staff was not there when I'd be fucking called this shit and everyone's laughing about it. They were not there. People were not there. So I could give less of a shit. This was a vow between you and me where essentially we're both going to take down our videos because we want this drama to fucking end. And what do you do? You fucking put your shit both parts back up. When you know what? If you really was for staff, you could have unlisted it and send it to them. You're a lying piece of shit, dude. The up is not to spread hate or malice. Um, any slander towards Blue Digit or his community, I will personally purge if it is in my Discord or comments. Any of this? You're, you're calling this out right now? You're going to call any of this out? I've already had openly some people say, you know, laughing at rape and R word, so I'm going to call any of that out. The reason the video was put Please. public again was again to get unbanned and spread. The reason was to get unbanned. Read my uh, version of events. Again. My version of events. He doesn't give a shit about me. He cares about getting back in the game and his reputation. This is beyond that, dude. This is beyond a fucking game at this point. If you really wanted to just say that, sorry. I want you gone from the game. I want you gone indefinitely. I don't want you back. I think you are terrible for the, for the community. I don't want you back. Again, any here towards Blue Digit will not be alerted in any comments or Discord servers of mine. Me and Blue Digit, again, I'll say we ended up working some stuff out. Um, I worked stuff out with taking the videos down, deciding not to take legal action, and then wanting Levi to be get back in the game. That's what I said. Nothing about you getting back in. I don't want you back in. And frankly, I don't think you're sincere. And I was right. In that 30 minute call we had. Even my, my girlfriend was appalled already from this video, dude. That's some sick shit. And I like to say that the drama, the drama that should never have happened, um, should be getting cleared up soon. Thank you guys for watching. The point of this video was to give reasoning for uh, why the previous video was up and to explain some things that happened after the initial release. And hopefully we can put all of this drama behind us. So the reason. And we, we did. Me and you fucking did. We were done. And then you brought this back because you want back in the fucking game. Because it's all about you with this shit. I hope you know if you do come back in the game. If this does happen, I'm letting everyone know about this is the way that Birdcage handles the shit. This should have never even happened in the first place, and it did. That's disgusting to me. Okay. Now, two things. One, after this, obviously, I told you we had the whole conversation with uh, me and him. Um, we dealt with that, right? Um, moving on, I would like to speak about 
how me and Zara had to speak because obviously that was pretty fucked up too. Now, me and Zar. Oh my god, there's so many fucking games. Jesus Christ, I don't even want this fucking game to play. Um, hold on. One second. Oh my gosh. Some nasty shit, bro. It's crazy. Thank you for the screenshots everyone's showing me. Like, this This already just shows, like, either this community is going to be, like, dealing with this, or this community is going to go down and it's going to be known for this. That's one or the other. So, for the necklace, thank you, brother. Thank you. Um, So, me and Zar spoke. And initially, it was just Levi and the story person that were banned. But with all that evidence, still Nathan was not banned. And when Zar told me, remember, he's on his second strike, and I, I did this on purpose to prove if there was bias. And of course there were. Now, out of everything I've shown you, none of it has been treated as the other strike. And essentially, Zar was bending rules and going through other things to keep this, you know, him in the game. And I spoke about that. I thought it was wrong. And we had this whole long discourse about how I don't want this to keep going. The fact my girlfriend still sees this guy doing this shit after calling us out. And it's just, oh, it's just another day. No, it's not just another day. This is serious. Very, very serious. And me and Zara had to go back and forth. He literally asked me, oh, just show me some more screenshots. After I spent seven days working on a video, and already with that video I showed you, he could not recall one thing that was ban-worthy according to the guidelines. Well, at the same time, apparently that people that said, I stand on the blue digit in the Birdcage server were immediately banned. Immediately, without a warning. When multiple times, obviously Nathan was just given a small warning, more or less a slap in the wrist for just strip slurs in a derogatory way towards people. If this doesn't prove bias, if this doesn't prove everything, I don't know what does. We're going to go into some screenshots that I have in my Discord server. Let's hope it wasn't just blown up with people saying shit. Let's go up. Oh my god, it kind of was. Yeah, it was blown up. Like if this doesn't prove something, I don't know what does. It literally, like this, this proves almost my point verbatim with things, so... Um, okay. Here we go. So, this is my personal opinion. So, Zar said he does not want to speak to me anymore. He doesn't see me as a friend. Um, I want to show... Where is it? Is this where it starts? Alright, so this is what Zar first says. Okay, we're going to go into this. Hi, Blue. Saw the new video. You didn't post it in Birdcage vids because you have common sense. But I figured I would say it just in case. Don't post any drama related in there. Thank you. Nathan and other CCs have been told the same. I got a video just about like some, some like I would say very serious shit comes out. And the first thing you're saying is just make sure you don't put it in birdcage videos. Um, and then he talks about because you have common sense. Almost like inferring if I didn't, I wouldn't. Speaking about like, you know, intelligence. And it's like the fact that's the first thing you said over such a sensitive topic as an owner of such a big community, I think says a lot. Uh, very bothersome um but you know I'm, I'm moving forward maybe you know maybe he's going to say so more so i'm like okay absolutely i'll do the same thing but thank you for reminding me and then he says also i skipped five minutes near the end and got confused as fuck when soapy surfers started playing it reminded me of this shit just me y'all because i was saying it was pretty funny so um again i'm still trying to stay calm so i said uh, i'm not gonna lie facts and then he says n-word um which multiple times i've talked to people i don't like people talking to me with the n-word i just don't but people still ignore it um all the time everyone does but I just want to leave that out there. I don't feel comfortable when people say that stuff. He says, your trap's worked. And then he shows, you know, Calvin and whatnot saying, oh, uh, Blue dropped a video, a uh, 50 minute video on him. And then, you know, Sarah so said, uh, yep, he sure did. And laughing. I mean, sure, I get it. Maybe if you wanted to laugh at the Nate thing at the end or, you know, this maybe, but it's like, clearly I'm not, I'm not, this is serious. So I literally tell him, I tell him a boundary. I'm like, I worked on this for a week. And I had to gather evidence and throw away evidence for a week. I had to go back to my girlfriend and bring this back. My friends, my old law enforcement friends, I'm glad that you're being lighthearted with me. It's slightly helping, but I'm still fearing, feeling serious about this. And instead of even acknowledging what I just said, instead of even acknowledging that, he said, got boulders. I'm like, boulders gate? No, I don't. And let's keep going. Um, he says, where's that sub money going? That shit is number one streamer game. And I said saving up. And then afterwards, then... I had to bring in more evidence, and that's when we got into a whole discussion. Um, he was nothing was going to be done about it. Nothing based off what you guys saw. If that was an average player, they would have been gone. And even people that, again said I stand for Blue Digit, they've been kicked from the community. This is not okay. 
This is not the way things need to be dealt with. When there's such a serious situation, I'm sorry, but I would hope that, again, you treat it seriously. And that was not treated seriously. Um, I literally had to go back and show other screenshots. When If, if I was an owner of a game and I saw this, I'd be like, okay, this is serious. Already, there, there have been serious claims put down. I'm going to get a notebook. I'm going to start writing all this down. That's what I would do. Because this is clearly very serious to someone. Even if even if it was nothing. Even if this was nothing, I would have been like, okay, I'm going to treat this as seriously as the individual that's talking about this, right? That was not what was going on, okay? And that's not okay. And I think it proves a lot as to like how the rest of this community is going to be treated. If this is the way that I was treated. So, I want to say sorry to everyone, um, especially those in the community. Um, I know this caused quite a bit, but it's also like, I think this needs to be dealt with because not only does that, do I think for the whole of the community, um, it helps with bias to so like just out it and show that there is some. Um, not only do I think that this needs to stop or else frankly this community is going to go downhill and already it's going against a lot of fucking guidelines with other things. Um, not only do I think I've been treated horribly this entire time as a person, but I mean, frankly, just for the integrity of my fucking girlfriend, this needs to be dealt with. So that's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so, um, <sighs> that's basically everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's one more thing I actually want to show. Hold on. Hold on. Time to prove a point. All right. So this is after the video came out. Hold on. Um, from Nathan Maddox. This just to prove, again, another point, really quick. Nothing. Hmm. Let's keep going. Is it all gone? The abandoned? There should still be... Hold on. Let me see if I can find the information. There will still, still be, like, some terms about it, right? Hold on. Let me get the screenshots. Let me get the screenshots. Because I still took screenshots, thank God. It's just going to take a little bit longer. And I don't want to give you guys things without evidence. Because I'm speaking without evidence, then, you know, this this doesn't hold up. Um, Evidence, evidence, evidence. Right, guys? So, um, hold on. Let me let me go to my face really quick. And I'll pull that up. And then afterwards, frankly, I'm going to take a breather. And then I'm going to talk to anyone that does want to speak to me. Because um, this needs to be dealt with. Now, granted, I'm going to speak to people that are being genuine and being respectful. If I do not feel like that, um, I'm ending the conversation. So I'm I'm believing that I'm saying that blatantly right here, right now. Uh, I'm not going to have people just walk over me. So, all right. Um, not it. Okay, found it. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, the words I said, can I even get this even a little bit larger? Okay, so there's, I think, three images. So the words I said was about his teeth. Um, not gonna lie. And then Koala speaks up and says, and the arsler. Um, and then he's like, no, nah, there's a backstory to that. Again, you can look through screenshots. Most people unanimously agree that the thing was just me shitting on, you know, what I thought was Gen 4, which, uh, I mean, I still stand by that. But again, it's an opinion in the game. It's not actually... Uh, what do you call it? Um, fuck. It's not actually an insult towards someone else. Like, you know, it's just my opinion. And everyone should have a right to their own opinion. So, let's go here. Okay, let's keep going. So, um, go to extreme times. No context is a W. He has not provided nothing even right here. Hashtag Sam with Blade And then here's what Koala said. And thank God for this guy. Koala, I'm, I'm not sure if he's still in the community, but this is what a guy should be. No, there wasn't. I was there. He said Gen 4 disappointing. Um, and they said, yeah, now world main, where's the evidence? And then let's go to the next screenshot right here. N word. You still shouldn't use it. And then Koala says this N word says context justifies slurs and then leave on. Then Nathan said nothing else after that. This was after I made the video and he's still not apologetic about what he's been doing. He's still not apologetic about any of that. So, um, again, I'll take, I'll take my time with this. 
thank you for giving me like you know my my moment because uh you know i want to go all this over all this evidence before people are just like let me speak let me speak and it's like let's talk about this first let's actually put out the information let's actually use the screenshots and the evidence that we do have let's actually talk about this if you guys want to go over you know world main stuff let's do that you know let's actually try and go over all this that that's what i wanted to do and frankly i'm really glad that we could have been able to do this and actually go over a lot of the screenshots because it's like even though I have my feelings, my feelings don't matter if it's that strong if I don't have anything to back it up. And that's why we had to do this because without it, it doesn't hold on much. So, um, literally just give me one second. Um, I need to just take a breather and then I'll talk to some people. I just, yeesh. Oh my gosh, I just need a fucking breather. Hmm. By the way, um, Ultimate, at this point, because Zara hasn't even speaking about it, people have already been jumping in my own chat, my own Discord, and raiding again. Um, Nathan's been a part of that. Start kicking people. Start banning people. Um, just clear bias right here. Deal with it, please. Um, or any other Oconies. I should just say Ultimate, but everyone just get rid of these guys. I know you guys have probably been waiting for a bit, but not okay. Oh, all right. This is so exciting. It's fucking um. I literally have a thing in my Discord right here. Oh, I'll show it. I find it really funny because it's like, if this isn't a little bit of witch hunting, I don't know what is. Literally unusual join activity detected in the digits. Like, bro, even Discord telling me is like, dude, what the fuck? That's some funny shit. All right. Oh, um, we're going to take this one at a time. Um, who do we want to talk to? Um, this is not going to be an opinion thing. If I feel like this is someone that's just trying to walk all over me, that's, we're going to end it there. Um, I've shown my evidence. I'm not trying to get, I'm going to let some other people talk, but I feel like it's just them trying to like say that I'm wrong just to change my opinion and that I got to accept it. Then it's like, no, um, sorry, we, we're going to have a civilized discussion, but I'm not going to have you walk all over me. So that's what's going to uh, turn into. So, um, okay, we can talk to Zara then. Sure. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to find Zara's thing. Okay, I'm going to text him if you'd like to speak. All right, we'll talk to Zar first. And everyone else has been respectful of my boundaries. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. Um, everyone else has been like, you have to speak to these guys now. It's like, it means a lot. So, What's up, though? Hey, what's up, Zar? So, um, there's a bit I want to talk with you about. Um, at times, I might struggle to articulate it because I forget things easily. Um, I have a low attention span to conditions, okay? So I apologize if I do sometimes troll off or, like, I just blink out for a, bit, a few seconds or so. Yeah. Okay? So um, I have a few reasons of what you said so far on stream, right? Um, I intend to be civilized about this because, like I said, even though I totally do not contact me anymore, I do think you're a good person, and sometimes shit just happens, right? Sometimes drama happens. It's, just, it's inevitable on the internet. Um, and I do think so far, right, all this stuff happening is very fucked up. Um, like, even if, like, whatever, like, excuse they may have, it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Um, and the very earlier we are acting on it, like I said on Nathan's stream, we've been a few people already for, you know, uh, going to your voice chat and causing issues. Um, so during most of your stream, you did, like, empathize, right, that you feel like our governments are biased. And um, what's it called? That things weren't handled on time, which I do agree with that, right? 
But the thing is, is that most of the time when it's off platform, you don't do it for unless you report it. So when it comes to your like the, the incident, right, on the 27th, like you said, it wasn't reported to us. Now, I'm pretty sure, like I said earlier in your DMs, we did handle it to an extent, right? But that's because we couldn't go really far with it because you yourself never came to us about it. Um, now, like I said, right, it is kind of, kind of a funny situation because you were harassed deeply, right? There's no, like, way, there's, like, no way to go around it, right? But, um, but I think the way I see it is that if the moderators, like, act on anything, right, outside of birdcage, like, shit could get pretty fucking bad really fast. Um, for example, like, let's say a fucking mod, right? It's a guy arguing in another Discord chat, right? Now, obviously, someone, someone could get banned for some shit outside of birdcage. Which is, why we have to, which is why we make sure that people have to make a report of themselves, if that makes sense. So, in this case, right, the 27th, um, because it wasn't reported by you, we couldn't, like, actually, like, act on much, right? But now that it's been reported by you, obviously, right, Tori got banned, um, Levi got banned, Nathan got banned, and if more, like, stuff, like, comes out about people when they're not there, it'll ban them as well. So that's why I feel like saying that, like, we didn't act on it is, like, a very, like, fucked up thing to say because they're defending our game even though, like, we have taken measures, right, very decisive ones, even against people that have, you know, a large influence, right, to ensure that, um, that not only you, but your girlfriend are protected. So, I'm not you can talk now. Like, I don't mean to, like, this, yeah, so But when there is a screenshot that's been left up in World Main, not deleted, not dealt with, mm -hmm. when there is multiple mods, people from the community in that stream, mm -hmm. the only time you're going to step in if there is rape claims you're saying is if I report it. You're not yes, going to do anything because, on your own if you see yes, that. Yes, yes, because it is off platform. It's not it's not in the Brickage community. Like but, it's not a, it's not a Brickage Discord, it's not a Brickage stream. It's your own stream. You don't own it. Okay, so then you're saying with the Oxybell that's the same? So you're saying you treat Oxybell stream differently because clearly Birdcage people jumped into that, started raiding them, started harassing that girl, but you had to deal with that. You had to make an announcement. You had to do something. Because, because she, mine, she, herself, was she herself went into our Discord like and talked to me. She herself, like Oxybell. So in that case, right, which like I said, I think it's a very flawed guideline. But for a long time, I haven't actually like looked at my guidelines because I was doing the other things. Um, usually, guideline changes are up to the head administrator, right? Um, so Oxy went in my gyms, right, and informed me that all this stuff happened, which I woke up to, and I was very supportive of my community, obviously. Because even if we bench her a lot, right, I think making someone cry is like some crazy fucked up shit. Which I'm sure you both agree with that. So, like I said with Oxy, they were immediately, uh, you know, when it was reported, we handled it immediately and as fast as possible. And that's why a lot of people to this day are banned. Um, a lot of them were, what's it called? Um, they tried to appeal, but they weren't appealed, right? So... That's why I think it's important that, like I said, if you feel harassed, right, outside of the community, you should report it to us because we will not usually act on things, right, um, like that are outside of our community. Because, like I said, it's like it's like it's like, it's like a huge like puzzle. It's that's a huge like what's it called, Pandora's box, right? If we act on stuff outside of the community, can I speak? Because shit can get really wicked. Yeah, go ahead. So when I'm streaming Birdcage, I expect that mm -hmm. that is going to be a part of the community. That stream was birdcage related. If I mm -hmm. do anything birdcage related, or if even like, let's say, for example, I go into a blacklisted group, immediately ban, right? So there mm -hmm. are instances where that changes the case. And frankly, I mean, I get your saying, and even that's all true, I heavily disagree with that stance. If you have someone doing some horrible things in World Main, which there mm -hmm. was evidence, and I showed screenshots of you seeing that, and almost turning a blind eye towards it and laughing about it, that's not okay. The biggest thing, obviously, is the number in November 27th event, even all the other times where my server's been raided before and people just jump in like they do, saying the R word, it all is related to Birdcage because they come from Birdcage. I shouldn't have to always, if you don't know about it, that's fine. I get it. I totally get it. Like, you have all this other busy shit you're doing with this R, things beyond, mm -hmm. like, I, know, I totally get that, 100%. Because, I mean, yeah, I don't want to be dealing with this all every day. But at the same time, when you do notice it, when you do see it, I shouldn't always have to be the first one to step up. Because that's the reason why you have people saying things or not speaking up. Because they feel like their voice isn't heard. When in the first place, they shouldn't have to They shouldn't have to always speak out against it. It should be, okay, well, don't worry. 
our moderation is going to follow our guidelines because we believe this is morally right. Not because I have to speak out against this or else I'm mm -hmm. just going to be left in the dust. And half the time, even if they do, which I've heard stories, if they do, things aren't always handled and the person that was involved knows who had, who had done it. And then there's usually backlash, which I don't like hearing that. Okay, so I get your point, right? Like I said, if we really do, like, out of everything, right, even, like, outside of birdcage, like I said, it's going to get really fucking dangerous with, like, moderation, right? Because then people can pause just from, like, even how oh, fucking long ago, right? Let's say before you got a birdcage a year ago, right? He said a dumb word. He said, like, uh, he said a bad word, okay? So from there, right, it's that you could easily get, like, banned for, like, anything at that point, right? Now, like I said, right, because you were harassed in your own Discord, right? Because they joined from Birdcage, like, if you report it too close, you can ban them. But the reality is that Birdcage takes a lot of fucking, like, like has, like, a lot of friend groups in it. Friend groups, right? I'm sure what those are. Friend groups are, like, Discords or group chats of people, right, that, you know, um, are comprised of, like, friends. And they're usually, you know, shit gets pretty fucking toxic in them. It's usually, like, a banter hell, right? But... The thing is, um, if we were to, like, say, right, that you could get banned, or if I was being reported, right, if I was being reported at all by anybody, right, something you said, like I said, people were, like, really, like, they don't like that at all. That's some, like, fucking, like, 1985 shit, where you, like, die for, like, taking an opinion in, like, a country or some shit. It's just very strict. It's way too strict. It's, it's restricting at all. So, that's why, that's why you don't, we don't, like, act on something that's reported. Because, like, if you don't report it to us, then we cannot, like, help you. It's just fucked up. It's, it's kind of like a very like it's an iffy area. It's a very gray area. That's how I see it. Some games have a stance, right? Where they like where they will like bend people, right? Outside of the genre, but most people like that make games kind of have a similar stance with me because, like I said, let's say I like two months ago, like five months ago, right? Let's say before I joined a game, right? I got into an argument, right, with a friend and said, you know. You're a, you're a, like, I don't know, like, something stupid, right? This is all hypothetical, right? So let's say I did say that, and then after that, I joined Burger Cage, right? And I get reported, and I get reported, right? Because in your case, you're saying that, you, like, you know, you could get in a file report happening. So let's say a mob saw that, right? A file report. Then I got banned, right? That's kind of unfair, you know? Because at the end of the day, right, nobody reported it. A mob just saw it. Say, outside of Burger Cage. That's my stance on it. Now, at times, right, shit gets bad. And people will raid or say terrible shit about you or even about me, right? But if it's not reported, you cannot do anything about it. So that's why it's your responsibility as a player to report things to us in case you get harassed. And we'll deal with it, as we have just now. Um, I guess I, I'm 50-50 on that. Because, like, I get what you're saying, especially about, um, like, for me, I think I said it multiple times. I'm going to say it again, but, like, intention. It's like, mm -hmm. if you have someone, like, uh, okay, best thing is, like, I don't want to become Twitter. So, like, yeah, if someone mm -hmm. said something, like, years ago or something, like, yeah. I get it. Like, that, I totally understand. Yeah. Um, especially if there is at least proof for them to be sincerely apologetic or a different person, right? Mm -hmm. Um, That I totally get. My line, and this is, like, again, where I just, where I think is when it becomes birdcage related, it is birdcage's mm -hmm. problem. That's what I think. Because if not, then I find that birdcage condones it. Now, again, if birdcage doesn't know, if it's in fucking iffy area, sometimes I can get that. But there are things that are just so big, so obvious, that I do believe from what I've shown was there. It definitely does bother me. Hang on, hang on, I'm sorry, hang on. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> sorry, needs a moment. Um, this is a nice conversation. I'm really enjoying this. Very nice. Hey, Zon, you have a wonderful night, okay, my friend? You stay blessed. All right. Yo, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. No, you're good, dude. You know, I, I get it. <laughs> I definitely get it. Oh, what are you talking about? Or no, was uh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was you. Yeah, it was you. Yeah, it was you. I, I'm just saying, though, like, like I get it. Um, But I, I think... I think with bigger events like that too, and like again, like with world main things, it's like mm -hmm. if it is known, if people are like still clearly talking about it, I th mm -hmm. 
from what I've seen, from what I feel, I feel like it's not okay for that to just be swept on the rug and just like, oh, you speak about it, then there's something done with it. But it's like, uh, I mean, I kind of talked about it in the video, and um, I'm grateful he's back in the game. Good for him. But like, I think that's so funny that someone just got banned for saying yeah. Like, the, okay, please someone that's now, funny. Yeah, 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 it is funny. Now for that, right? Um, you know, sometimes you know, decisions are made that are a bit harsh. Now, that guy was appealing, right? Um. He should have been banned in the first place, but hang on. Anyways, um, yeah, like he was appealing, right? It was a mistake, but it happens because at times we give we give reports, right, without that much context. So if you see a guy, you know, MP saying yeah to someone, right, a female avatar, you know, with all the respect, we gotta ban them with all the respect, right? But um, it was a friend to a friend. It was just a bad look. Um, so that's why, like, you know, we uh unbanned that guy. Um, as for, like, your opinion, right, about the whole guidelines, I see what you mean. And, like, I might, you know, change my guidelines a bit to, like, adjust this entire, like, conversation, because, like, you have a good point, right? We're going off based off current guidelines, right? Um, and currently, right, um, like I said, we didn't really, like, you know, handle, uh, bands that's reported to us. Now, maybe in the future now, right, because I listen to feedback, right? Feedback is important. Um, maybe some things will happen to the guidelines, right? But, you know, for now, right, until I get a chance to do that. So, like, it'll be this way. Yeah. No, I, I totally get that. Yeah. And um, and I, I appreciate you saying that, too. Because, I mean, like, um, I feel like that gives me a bit more of an open stance on what you believe, at least, and as well as the community. So, I, I definitely appreciate that. That's all I got to say, really. Um, I feel like, you know... A lot of this was like it, it escalated very fast by several people, you know, like not even you, just like people overall did some very strange things. But we'll make sure that like we do like act on it. That's all I'm really here to like, you know, assert, you know, that like birdcage staff team moderation, right? Um, are very decisive about this and we'll ensure that you know should have handled like uh professionally and maturely. That's about it. Uh, if you have enough to send, I'll leave because I'm kind of tired. But, uh, I want to say this to you just because, like, I mean, I feel bad that the camera's on, but, like, mm -hmm. I mean, if, I don't know if this fucking means anything, dude. Um, I, I do apologize for anything that I have been, like, you know, just more aggressive towards you with. Cause it's I, good. I, I do it's get, all good. I do it's all good get that. Um, and obviously, I do feel, you know, I, I don't know, I, 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 don't know, I see you as a friend, dude. I will say this, though. Um, I want you to imagine you in my shoes. If this was said to your girlfriend and you had to go through the same things, mm -hmm. tell me you wouldn't be mad. I would be mad. That's what I understand. Like, I understand why you're mad. And I, like, I, I said your apology. Like, you're fine. Like, I'm not upset. You're good. Don't worry. Like, it's it's fine. There's no beef. There's no malice. Like, I get it. Like, if someone someone said that shit to my girlfriend, like, I'd be fucking pissed off. So, like, I get it. Like, you, you're not in the wrong. Like, we, we understand. You know? I understand. Now, now this I want to say more publicly. Um... Mm -hmm. I do think Birdcage is, like, at least community-wise, with, like, the way that things are acted upon, like, how people act, just, I think it's toxic. Yeah, dude, I, I know, My game is not I'm the not, best thing. I'm not looking you know? at you mainly for that. What I'm looking for you is just, I want things to be done better. I'm I'm willing to work with you in every which way, dude. I'm, I'm more than willing to work with you in every which way. My only thoughts right now, dude, is I want this to be done with. The only reason I wasn't is because I saw those videos back up. And I saw, I heard more slander about it. I heard people laughing about it. That's why, that's why this kept going. I'm sick of this. Um, I did this because I'm not okay with people laughing or thinking it's a joke with the mm -hmm. context of what I've clearly spoken about. I think it is beyond serious. And I think it says volumes. I'm not sure if you're there, but I do not. Publicly, I want this to be done with. I think Levi is apologetic. I 100% forgive him. I've spoken to him on a basis. I've mm -hmm. not seen anything. And this is just from me as, you know, from working in law enforcement. I have an idea of how to, like, how I, people act, their mm -hmm. mannerisms. I believe that he meant everything he said. And I, I mean, clearly, you know, I have some screenshots and things, but, like, I do, I do want the best for him. I do think he was apologetic. I do not believe Nathan is, nor do I believe so from his behavior, even from today. I don't want him back in the game, and I think if that does happen, Czar, 
I think it's going to paint a horrible picture for the future of the Burgage community. I mean, Nathan, for now, right, because you never know what happened in the future, right? Maybe, like, he really does become, like, all apologetic, right? If he isn't already, it's all opinions, right? But for now, his bend's, like, indefinite, which means, like, permanent, pretty much, in a more, like, professional way. Um, Nathan, you know, needs to take some time off to, you know, work on himself and hopefully, you know, grow into the person, right? Thank you. Um, because you know me, I don't really like do permanent bands that often, right? Because um, I think like unless you like bug abused, right, or like exploited in the game, I feel like it was a second chance, right? Um, because people can't change, right? Oh shit! What? Uh, I gotta go. Oh, Check okay. the ends. Yeah, uh, you say um, okay. Oh, sh yeah, you say bless. Yeah, I, say I gotta go. Bye. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, poor Zara, he's always fucking busy. But that was a great. Con I had a great conversation with Zara. There. That was great. I fucking w that was wonderful. I'm really glad he opened up. He gave me his side of the like. That is what a conversation should be. I I'm really fucking happy that he opened up to me like that. That was fucking. Like, I'm not sure if anyone else thought that was great, but I thought that was a great conversation. That was fucking wonderful. I'm really. That was a very very good. Mm, that was good. I'm really happy about that. What do you guys think? I I don't know. I I was really happy about that. Yeah, that was that was sounding very very well. I'm happy about that. I wish there's more I could say, but that, I'm happy about that. Okay. I get it though. Okay, let's keep going. All right. I'm looking at DMs right now. That's all. So I apologize if um, it's taking a little bit of things. Okay. Okay. Um Sorry, I'm just re I'm reading these comments right now, so like, yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, I don't know anymore. Um that was a good conversation. I had a good time with that. I hope this is dealt with. I'm glad I spoke out about about this in this manner. Do I think everyone's gonna side with me? No. But I want this to be done. Um can you talk to Nathan on stream? No offense, Supa, but you've been mean to me in the past as well. Um, if anything, you've actually been a part of the witch hunting. Um, why would I want to speak to Nathan after the last time I just let him on here? He clearly just incited another witch hunt. Um, would not let me say no when I said I want to be left alone. Stop interacting with me, and he kept going. And when I said I want a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him last night, and I wanted both the videos taken down, he deliberately goes against that. So, 
Yeah, no, we're not. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Nathan can stop, worry about his own thing, and if he wants to act respectful, he can. But clearly from that, he doesn't know how. So, um, yeah. Either he talks to Nathan, pretend he don't exist, or ban. Um, yeah. Um, Nathan, I told you once, um, this is the last time I'm going to say this to you. I told you to stop, and you refused to stop. It took multiple attempts and multiple people told you to stop as well. And you don't know what no. So this goes for everything, Nathan. When no is said, no means no. Yes means yes. No means no. Yes means yes. Okay? I told you no. And you didn't accept that. You need to do better. You need to talk to Nathan so we can see both sides. He literally just streamed midway through I was doing my whole spiel. Clearly, he doesn't care. Clearly, he's just trying to get his way. If he cared, he would have not streamed when I was speaking. Could have stayed here and during the whole entire stream and then tried talking to me. If it really meant that much to him. But all he cares about is his reputation. I'm not doing this. So, blue digit, are you Muslim? No, I'm not. I'm Christian. Um, however, I do have a lot of Muslim friends. I'm a Christian, my friend. Um... It wasn't my idea to stream. I don't tell. So you're, people are just forcing you to stream now? Like, does someone have a gun to your head telling you to stream? Like. Okay. Not okay. <sighs> okay. Again, chat, I really appreciate it. Like, I'm just trying to get, take a breather from this because it's like, dude, this is a lot. Clearly, I've been just ranting about this for about three hours. But, um, yeah. Can someone let me know how this whole situation started? Um, when's this, when this is done, there will be a VOD up for a little bit, and then I'm going to take the VOD down after, like, probably, like, a day, just to make sure that everyone has, like, at least a way to see it, so... Because the last time I made it, um, Nathan immediately just, you know, tried, tried to take away all the evidence. So, Luigi, as someone who takes your side, um, but, uh, like, honestly, I would just like to, I would just, I would just talk to Nathan, man, to man. I did. No, so, here's the thing, Ghost, or, um, Smoke. I did. I did it actually yesterday. And literally in stream, you can li look back, he jumps on, and he openly admitted, I didn't know this until he literally admitted himself, that he was recording the whole thing. When I said, let's just talk man to man. The one thing we said was we'd t keep our videos down. And he goes ahead. Because staff told him. And re-uploads them. Not only that. But then also lying in half of it. And I'm sorry, but when I say I want to talk one-on-one. -on -one, you recording it is not just us talking one-on-one, -on -one, dude. What a joke. I wasn't lying, I don't know what to tell you. Well, clearly when my girlfriend saw it in the first half, she said you're lying and... Also, from the evidence I showed in my bits, I think you're lying. So, and not only that, but again, you came under this, you wouldn't give me my space. When I said, I don't want to talk yet, I can talk to you later. Which would have been now, actually. It would have been around now, and you didn't want to. You're like, I want to talk. I want to talk. No means no. And then not only that, but then we're in here, and you're not trying to get everyone out. You're almost inciting this witch hunting, which more or less you did. Literally, literally, Discord itself was telling me you have abnormal activity on your on your uh, server. So, yeah. Why not just talk to one to one right now? Because we have. This would be the third time we've done it, and I'm not gonna have him just manipulate. Cause that's what he has been doing. I'm not gonna feel like he's just pushing a conversation. Czar has been polite, polite with me. Czar, like that conversation is exactly what a conversation should go like. But I'm not doing this. Okay. Have I manipulated? Don't worry, this will be over with, then you can actually watch the stream, okay? So, but, um, no, I'm not doing this. No. You had your chance, Nathan, and I was done with all this, and you wanted to bring it back. We're done. I forgive Levi. I do not forgive you. I want the best for you, but 
I feel like you being around Birdcage is toxic. I do not want you around it. I want you away from that community. I'm going to keep my video down. I'm going to leave this up for a little bit longer. Um, on the YouTube, I'm probably going to keep my videos down still, but... Um, if you even give a shit about this, Nathan, you would take your videos down and you would, like my other stream and video said, re-upload that one VOD of me calling it out and show everyone how you treated me. I'd really like everyone to see that. Okay? So. Yeah. Zero space. Um, I spoke out about things. Sure. But even if I start drama, that gives no one the right to fucking start harassing, cyberbullying, witch hunting, making rape claims. You want to start saying that's okay? Be my guess. How about you start saying slurs are okay too? I have my opinions about things. I'm entitled to that. Just because someone doesn't agree to it, I don't give a shit. I'm going to do what I want because, guess what? I'm entitled to that opinion, just like anyone else should be. Keep this shit real. What Tori said was crazy, but how's that affiliate Nathan and Blue? Um, again, early in the stream, dude, like, I, I know this is long, but, like, I, I explain all of it. Like, a lot of this is just looping questions. I'm not trying to be rude, but, like, I've been saying it for three hours. A lot of this is just still looping questions. So... If you guys want to go back in the stream, you, you're more than you're more than welcome to. Um, there's facts and evidence there, but just please go check that out. I'm not dealing with this, okay? So, um, you can you can rewatch some of that there, okay? So, but um, what, basically, long story short, um, Nathan was a part of the uh, the stream, um, helping inciting the witch hunting with the rape claims. My girlfriend here also confirmed that. Um, Ultimate also said that he saw a part of that. Um, confirming secondhand witnesses, right? Both involved in the same day that that was going on. Um, he never went against it. Um, I banned him um, from, the, from the server, and he's still trying to get back in from a screenshot. Basically, you know, trying to find a way to, like, actually be a part of it. And then afterwards, when I told him I didn't want to speak to him, he kept trying to incite conversation with me. And then also telling me, like, you know, leave the game and whatnot. So, um, multiple times he was continuing this witch hunting. That was a part of the rape claims. So. So that's what was going on. So. How are you lying on stream? Don't worry, Nathan. I don't have to. You can actually go back in the uh, in the stream and look at the screenshots yourselves. But I told you this before, Nathan. Don't you fucking say I'm lying when my girlfriend was here and they saw that shit. She literally said it right here. She saw it. She looked at you. And... You're saying it's lying. Pathetic. I hope you get your shit fixed, Nathan, but I don't care about your reputation. And frankly, I'm tired of you just trying to get back in the game. I hope things get better for you, but for now, I don't want to see you around this fucking community anymore. Because what you've incited and the fact that you've brought it this far, and only now you're treating me like a human being because I'm even asking... Is sick. And even though, like, it, hardly. Hardly. So, I'm done. Um, I hope Levi gets back in the game. Um, I've been trying to work with Zardy getting back in because, you know, Levi deserves it. Um, because I do think he's sincere. But, like I said, I've worked in, I worked in law enforcement. Um, I was in a lot of acting. I understood how to, um, I, I almost got a job, actually, as an actor. Um, and based on the way that Levi can, or not Levi, Nathan conducts himself, I don't believe him to be truthful. And I do find him to be, I don't want to say the term, but he's very close to a certain um, method of acting. Um, I also believe that, I, I do believe he's manipulative. So, um, we're done. From now on, I'm done talking to you, Nathan. This is my boundary. And you broke it for the last time. Now, I'll say this. Um, yeah, I heard that Nathan got back. He just, I just look at the uh, DMs and good for him. I'm, I'm happy. 
I'm happy. Good for Levi. Um, so, I want to say thank you to everyone that has been supportive. Um, this stream, there's already been more evidence. And honestly, I'm really glad I did this stream because it shows off already just the behavior from a lot of the birdcage um, people. How, you know, literally we'll be talking about rape and they'll be laughing and trying to make jokes about it. And it's like, immediately. And it made me very happy to actually, like, there's proof now of this behavior going on. Um, so to that, I want to say thank you to everyone. Um, and how clearly there's bias going around. Um, I'm... I'm tired of this. What I want for this community is for there to be a community where I do believe people can be positive, where it doesn't matter how fucking, what, where do you want things. Everyone's just free to fucking equal. I want this to be, what I want to bring forward from this point is such a positive force in this community that it is undeniable that that is the new future of the game. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, hope you guys help me in that. Uh, we're going to try our best to push this forward. Um, because... Frankly, I do think the birdcage community is still toxic, and I think there is a lot of hope for, you know, fixing that and um, fixing the bias as well that is involved. Um, I don't know everything that's going on still, but I do believe that if we go forward with this and um, we're able to, to to not care about just the game itself, but look at each other as like you know human beings, that's going to be what's the best thing here. For example, you shouldn't just have to fucking report something. You should just look at something and be like, that's wrong. And then it should be dealt with. So, um, yeah, seriously. So, um, I guess I'll just say I love you guys. Seriously, you guys stay blessed. Um, I really wish there's more I could say. Um, and I don't, I, I'm not, I know I'm not. that guy in birdcage i don't need to be what i want is to be that guy to make sure that everyone else can be i want people to feel like this isn't what they have to go through what i did in order to actually have a voice and i'm sorry if i haven't set up for you guys in the past but i want to and this is the turning point i want this game to go beyond from what it is with the community and transform itself completely. So, I'll say this. Um, you guys have been nothing but a blessing. Keep going with what you're doing. Um, do not ever let this thing happen. If you stand alone, I promise you, unless I'm dead, you're not alone, man. I will try my best to make sure that this community becomes something stronger. And if something ever does happen, my DMs are always open. You can always try your best to speak to me. I will try my best to see if I can resolve the issue myself. But this will happen no longer. Okay? If there is, for example, claims I showed, it is going to be dealt with like that. No more of this. No more. Um, it'll be nothing but great. You all are just blessings, and I really hope that you know, even though this is just a webcam... The only thing that separates this is a screen of microconductors, and I see you. And I'm so blessed to know that you took the time to sit here and speak to me. Because I mean, I'm. I mean, it's just I'm just me. Um, and this is this has been hell, but I'm just I'm so grateful that I have the community right here that I, I do that. Even though not everyone obviously is uh, standing with me, uh, I think a good chunk are. And. I do think that it's a start in the right direction. So, thank you all. I love you guys. Um, should we raid someone or just end it here? We might raid someone. Yeah, I think we'll just raid someone just to be honest. But, um, I'll say, smile. Keep it up. And uh, let's fight for a future so bright. Thanks so much for rise. My name is Bloody Sunny I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Let's, um, let's raid someone. Alright, we're going to raid this individual, because apparently they're playing Roblox. Don't know who they are, but hopefully it works. Alright, um, please be supportive of them. Please be um, nice, and seriously, you guys stay blessed. If you have, have any questions, come to my DMs, you're welcome. Okay?
I'm not sure if anyone say, but seriously, um, this was stressful, but um, you've been nothing but great to me.